fans, I ask that you direct your attention to the center aisle of the Memorial Field Grandstand and join me as we welcome captains number two, Isaiah Ricketson, number 55, Jeff Buckley, and number 64, Trent Patterson, and the rest of our Green Wave football team for today's game. The Green Wave coaching staff is led by, in his 49th year, head coach Jim Kelleher. The offensive coordinator is Ed Riley. The defensive coordinator is Jim Daly. The assistant coaches are Scott Piper, Dave Lyons, Tom Shepard, Bella Cabongo, Keith Baxson, and Kalanji Cabongo. The athletic director is Peter Serino. The superintendent is Peter Schaefer. The high school principal is Jonathan Bourne. The cheerleader coach is Kristen Gerhardt, and the athletic trainer is Alicia Reed. Broadcasting today's game on local cable access are the dynamic duo of Sean Riley, Hall of Famer, class of 1982, and Kevin Whalen, class of 1979. The chain gang for today's game across the field are Adam Nash, Steve McGuire, Dan Reardon, and Steve Wakeland. The PA spotter for today's game is Bo Ryan. And the referee for today's game, once again, is Mike Goldman. Fans, at this time, I'd like to direct your attention to the north end zone as we introduce the seniors for the last time to Memorial Field. We'll be starting with the marching band. First, there is one senior that is not here today, but we'd like to give him a round of applause, Jacob Reynas. Next up, we have Acadia Manley with their parents, Melissa and Joe Manley. Next, we have Ike Faria with his parents, Graziella and Floyd Faria. Ladies and gentlemen, the Abington Marching Band Seniors, let's give them one final round of applause. And now we'll introduce the Abington Cheer Squad. The seniors are Jamie Lynn Boyle with her parents, Minda and Chris Boyle. Next, we have Jillian Park Page with her mom, Katrina Park, and her dad, Wayne Page. Next up, we have Emily Simonetti with her mom, Charlene Simonetti, and her uncle, Chris Bromley. Let's hear one more time for the Abington Senior Cheer Squad members. And now for the football team. First up, we have number five, Darren Zenas, with his parents Elizabeth and Darren Zenas, and his sisters Alyssa, Savannah, and Ciara. Next up, we have number nine, Jack Houghton, with his mom, Melissa Melvoin, and his dad, Jack Houghton. Uh -oh. Someone's there, and I didn't write. 
Who is that? Was that McKinley? Jack's sister McKinley is also in line. Next up, we have Lucas Foley with his dad, Robert Foley, and stepmom, Jeannie Foley. <laughs> Next up, we have Diego Fletes with his parents, Julie and Louis Fletes. I hope that's right. Next up, we have number 51, Mike Elder, with his parents, Vicky and Mike Elder. Uh -oh. I want to see his dad. Where's Big Mike? That's a bummer. Oh, boy. Next up, we have number 75, Aiden Powers, with his parents, Laura and Mark Powers. Next, we have number 81, Jack Carey, with his parents, Jennifer and Robert Carey. Thanks, Missy. Thanks. Have fun. Happy Thanksgiving. And now for the captains of the football team, starting with number two, Isaiah Ricketson, with his parents, Jessica and Ryan Ricketson. Next up, we have number 55, Jeff Buckley, with his parents, Sheila Crosscup and Jeff Buckley, and his sister, McKenna. And last but not least, we have big number 64, Trent Patterson with his parents, Heather and Mike Patterson. Fans, while the photos are being taken, I would like to welcome the Whitman Hanson Panthers to Memorial Field. The Panthers, Panthers are led by head coach Zach Botello. His ass assistant coaches are Matt Adams, Bill Frazier, Randy Grimmett, Gio Hippolyte, Kevin Meehan, Hank Moylan, Peter Saba, Antonio Thomas, John Rosen, and Dan Moriarty. The athletic trainer is Brian Cox. The athletic director is Bob Rogers. Welcome to the Panthers. Mark Watt. Mark Watt. Hey, tell Bill Mark Watt to go. We need him back at the 30 hour line. Hold on. I think he's going back. Yeah, he's going back. Billy. Bill Mark Watt, can you go to the 30 yard line, please? To the senior students here tonight on behalf of the Abington School Administration, the Abington Athletic Department, and the Town of Abington, I wish you all continued success and best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, one final round of applause for our senior students and their families. Brian there? Yep, they're there. Lisa Reed and Phil Marquardt. None of them know what's happening. At this time, the senior band, cheer, and football players would like to present athletic trainer Alicia Reed, photographer Bill Marquardt, and graphic design extraordinaire Brian Magararu with a token of their appreciation for all they have done to enhance their high school experience. 
Thank you, Alicia, Bill, and Brian. I just did that. Thank you again, Abington High School seniors. Congratulations once again. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Abington Green Wave football. Today is the 111th edition of Abington Green Wave versus Whitman Hanson Panther football. My name is Sean Riley. With me today, of course, is Kevin Whalen. We have a huge technical crew behind us and a perfect day for football. Beautiful blue sky, sun is out, and we have two good teams that are going to go against each other to see who takes home the Thanksgiving Day trophy. Kevin, what do you know about today's game? Uh, not enough, Sean. <laughs> But you know, it's always a great tradition, obviously, and I think you know you. I think the first quarter really kind of dictates what the rest of the game is going to be like. It's you know, obviously both these teams. This is their final game, seniors' final game. So it's the great tradition of it all, and uh, just looking forward to it. I think you know, key for the Green Wave is you know really having ladies and gentlemen, 2022 marks the 20th time in the 10th anniversary of two Abington High School teams good holes and running the ball. So that's what I'm looking forward to. It's that might have been a little bit of a bonus kind of thing where it's like all of a sudden. We have the uh, honorary captains going out today with the Avenue Green Wave. Um, as the, today's, the, this year's captain's going out there, because Jeff Buckley, number 55, uh, Isaiah Rickardson, number two, and Trent Patterson, number 67. But they're being joined by the captains and some of the players from the 2002 and 2012 Super Bowl teams, this being the 20th and 10th anniversary of those Super Bowl wins. From the 2002 teams, Ben Melville, Adam Bowser, Shane Crowley, Brian McSherry, and Kevin Yacobucci. And representing the 2012 team of Brandon Colley and Tim Ferguson. If you'd like to watch any of those games, those are part of our Green Wave Classics on AbingtonCam.tv. Or go to the Abington Cam YouTube channel at AbingtonCam02351. Those are two very exciting uh, Super Bowl games. Of course, the 2002 team and Super Bowl was the first Super Bowl championship for the Green Wave here in, the, uh, in this century. And it started off just a great run of about 20 years of Green Wave success. So nice to see those guys back here representing... The alumni for today's game. GWP. Referee Mike Goldman got the microphone on. And he is. Women Hansen wins the toss. It's Women Hansen won the toss, and it's going to defer the second half. They're going to defer, which means the Green Wave will take the opening kickoff. We're going to be playing 12 minute quarters here with this final game of the season. Yeah, it's. You know, the, the field position really doesn't matter. The only thing, Sean, I think is a little bit the, uh, you know, if you're receiving the ball from Whitman Hanson, you know, you're going to be looking back into the sun because the sun's so low, yeah. you know, on this uh, Thursday Thanksgiving morning. I want to thank some of our seniors who they announced earlier from the cheerleading squad, Jamelin Boyle, Jillian Park-Page, and Emily Simonetti from the band Acadia Manley, Ike Faria, and Jacob Reynas. And our football seniors, Darren Zenas, Jack Houghton, Lucas Foley, Diego Flatus, Mike Elder, Aiden Powers, Jack Carey, and our three captains, Isaiah Rickardson, Jeff Buckley, and Trent Patterson. And speaking of Isaiah Rickardson, he is back at 100% now. He's been out for several games with an ankle injury, and we hope that he has a big game tonight, today, for his last game here as a senior wearing the, the shoulder pads for the Green Wave. We are going to pause for just a second for the playing of our national anthem. Please thank a veteran today and every day for their commitment to our freedom and safety. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not standing, please stand and remove your hats. And join me as we honor all that have served and continue to serve our country by giving their all to keep us free and safe with the playing of our national anthem. Today is being performed by the Abington High School Band under the direction of Mr. Charlie Blanchett.
All right, let's get ready to rumble here. Memorial Field, a beautiful 2022 Thanksgiving Day game. I thought it was nice uh, right before the game. The seniors recognized three uh, volunteers. People have been helping them out for all four years. They've been here. Bill Marquardt, our official photographer, who donates all of his time free of charge. He's unbelievable. Goes to all the sporting events. Brian Magararu, who's a graphics designer that if you follow Twitter or Facebook or anything that has some of those cool graphics, that's Brian Magararu and his company that does that together. And Alicia Reed, our athletic director, who has just been outstanding. Athletic trainer. I'm sorry, athletic trainer. Thank you, Gout. Yep. Uh, she's been outstanding keeping these guys healthy and when they are injured, getting them back on the field as quickly and safely as possible. So thank you to Bill Marquette, Brian Magararo, and Alicia Reed. Is that Jim Rook? It is Jim Rook. Jim there. Rook is one of the, the sideline judge or the back judge today. And Matt Whalen is out there as the back judge. And we've got Larry Keough from the muster field on the official clock. Oh, good. And, of course, who is wearing a white hat? But Mike Mr. Golden. Over Goldman. Goldman, sorry. Over 30 years of uh, doing this game, he is just as much a part of the tradition as the teams and the schools are. And we're going to try to make a nice presentation to him uh, right at the beginning of the second half. So Whitman Hanson wearing their white away jersey is going to line up for the kick. Looks like Brendan Moore is going to do the kicking honors for the Panthers going right to left across your television screen. Izzy Rickardson is back deep with A.J. Flynn, and it's a high end over and kick coming right down to Izzy. In the sun, picked up now by A.J. at the 11. A.J. up over the 20 and gets it up to about the 25-yard line. Well, I was saying that at the top of the game, Sean, that that's one of the concerns of, like, you know, yep. the sun being kind of low today. And you can see that ball was kicked pretty high up in the air, and Izzy had a little trouble adjusting to it as it came down with the sun. But decent field position for the Green Wave, considering at the 25-yard line where they start first and 10. Green Wave wearing their home green pants and jerseys. Michael Riley, the sophomore quarterback. We'll bring his team out, lined up. Zenas out wide to the far side. We've got Izzy Rickinson out wide to the near side. Single coverage on him by Braden Kane. Now they put a man in motion. That's Connor Pease. They're going to throw a quick little Ooh. screen. It's knocked down, though, by the big tackle, mm. number 71, Noah Hopkins. Almost had the pick there. Yeah, keep an eye on Hopkins. He's yep. one of their big boys. And uh, he and uh, number 50, Maddox Coldclaw. Well, one of the things, Sean, you always see in this, this game is that you see a um, kind of the emptying of the playbook. Yeah. You know, a lot of plays that you haven't seen all year, a lot of trick plays, those type of things, you know, because it is their final game, you know, of the season. They coaches, I think, try to make it fun, although they all, you know, want to win. It's I think they try to, you know, do all those things that they've been working on and get them all in today. Shotgun formation with Rickinson, Pease. Rickinson gets the ball. Pease lead block, and Rickinson dives forward. He's going to pick up about three or four on the play. Bring up a third down for the Green Wave. The uh, Whitman Hanson being a regional school has a larger sc school population, and uh, they always have some big boys up there in the trenches. Yeah, like back in the 60s, I mean, Abington was just tired of winning, so they said, you know what, you guys you know, need to merge, jo merge yeah, with Whitman yeah. Hanson and you know, make it fair, you know, and since then it's been a little bit more of a fair contest. Yeah, I mean, really for the, what, the, the 1990s and, and the 80s, 80s and 90s, Whitman Hanson ran off 19 victories in a row until the 2002 team, who was here today at the uh, coin toss, they uh, broke that streak. And then since then, it's been a great battle uh, from 2002 forward. Abington winning the last two meetings of these two teams. Abington with a big spread formation. Riley's going to roll to his left. Rolling, throwing back across the grain. He's got him. Oh, oh he's got him. in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Connor, Pay, uh, Connor Pease, at the 42. Nice thrown ball, and Connor with a great effort. With He had double coverage on him. It'll bring up a fourth down for the Green Wave. It was a nice throw, nice effort. He got, you know, outside on the edge there, was able to uh, elude one of the one of the people that was looking to sack him in there and was able to get the ball off. So a nice effort there by the Green Wave. Brings up a fourth and about seven. You see we got our instant replay crew working today. We've got a camera on the sideline, two cameras up high, Matt Nelson and Kevin Tachi. Hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll keep them busy. Aiden Powers to kick. I end over and kick with a funny spin in the back. And, oh, nice job by Zenas. Hits the man right after he catches it. No, no yardage on the return there by Kane. And they're going to mark it down as a 46-yard line. Good effort, good coverage, as you said, Sean. 10.41 on the clock. And Whitman Hance will come out with their first series now. 
See that replay, nice sideline view. Boom. Meet number five, one of our seniors. So Whitman Hanson starts out in pretty good field position here for their first uh, series here. They got Burrows, number 12, is the quarterback coming out. Cam Burrows, the senior quarterback. He likes to hand the ball off to Guggen, number 22, Frazier, number 17, and Casey, number 7. In the shotgun, it's going to be handed off to number 17, and that is Will Frazier. He's one of the captains. Yeah, he looks like peas on the bottom of that pile, along with uh, number 81, Jack Buckley, as well. Pick up, a, 81? 81? Pick up a two on the play. Jack, Jack Carey. I said Jack Buckley, Jack Carey. <laughs> Jack Carey's one of our seniors I also. Know. He's had a very good season, especially defensively for the Green Wave. He's out there as the middle linebacker along with Jeff Buckley. Ball's right down there. That's what I us. did. I combined there you go. Jeff Buckley. <laughs> with, with Jack. So, again, the shotgun formation. They stack it up on the right side with one wide receiver to the left. Burrows with the hard count. Oh, he bobbles the snap. Ball's on the ground. And it looks like he did get to it before the Green Wave could pounce on it. So that is a loss on the play. Bring up now third and about 12. Um, and that's what, you know, that's important for the green wave is to, uh, you know, keep that as, you know, a negative play there. Now keep them in long situations. Make them pass the ball. Make them do the things that they don't want to do. Midwim Hansen over the years has been a very run-heavy team. You can see uh, Pease and uh, Duggan were on the ball very quickly. Trying to get that loose ball, but the quarterback was able to jump on it. So now we got to... Potential passing. Women Hanson does not throw the ball very often. Let's see if they go to the air with the third and long now in their first possession. A timeout call by Coach Hanson. Zach Botello in wow. his second year. <laughs> Botello is a graduate of Middleborough High School, the class of 2011. Okay. So he's a youngster. I want to thank our crew today before I forget. It's be, this is being shown live, actually, uh, on our Verizon and Comcast channels also being no. live streamed and it will be replayed later in the day. And of course, you can always go on the YouTube channel for Abington Cam 02351 and watch it anytime you want. Today's camera operators are Matt Lyons, Paul Watson, and also get some help from Ryan Tully from Whitman Hanson Community Access. The engineering, they're all engineering the sight sounds, replays, and live broadcasts on the different platforms. Of course, that is all done by Matt Nelson and Kevin Tachi. Thank you, guys. It's been a great season. Appreciate everything that you've done to, uh, you know, bring the, the games to the uh, homes in Abington. And We're looking for more volunteers. Abington Cam's always seeking more community involvement, whether it's for training for various production aspects to becoming a volunteer or producer. More information is go to www.abingtoncam.tv or you can send an info, uh, email to info at abingtoncam.tv. They will give you all the free training you want if you want to be behind the camera, if you want to be on a microphone, or if you want to do video editing. It's great. It's free. And we need more and more people to help out so we can do more and more, bring more stuff to your living rooms at home. Here we go now, third and 12. Burrows looks over the Green Wave defense, looking to throw, going Oof. down the right side, and he's going to overthrow it good coverage there by Rickinson and AJ good good uh, pressure by the green wave he got he took a he big did. hit there as soon as he let that go that ball and really I think part of the problem there for him shine was he wasn't able to follow through and that's why it just kind of stayed up there for a long time so nice job by the green wave defense making it fourth and 12 here getting a stop on their first series you know I want to congratulate the Abington Oof. midget program the team they won the uh, the Super Bowl and the Pee Wees did too. And the Pee Wees as well. well Congratulations. We'll see them at the end of this quarter. We're going to recognize. So now, Rickinson and AJ Nass standing about their own 25 yard line awaiting the punt. So both teams go three and out in the first. A spinning punt going to go bouncing on the 25 yeah. and uh, roll. Now they got a big bounce, lucky bounce there. Going to get inside the 10 yard line wow. down to about the six. Wow. That was not a great punt, but they just got the good roll there. The ball was rolling the right way. So the Green Wave offense will come out 94 yards away from Pater with 8.52. So 50 yard punt. Oof. That hurts. Uh, we'll see. Just gives them a challenge. 
you know, that's one of the things you can do when you, uh, you know, play the field position game, Sean, a little bit when you do kick off. Because, you know, generally speaking, you, you know, you don't end up as in good a field position. And if your defense can hold them, then generally you can get the ball back and forth. And Whitman Hansen obviously seems to be putting Abington back against it, making him have a long drive for a touchdown. They mark it really at the five-yard line. Hand is the Rick Rickardson on the left side, cuts it back up, gets it up to 10. about the 10-yard line where he's then taken down. It's like Evan Casey was one of the guys in there on the tackle, number seven. A lot of tradition for this game between these two towns, Abington, Whitman, and Hanson. It has been. A lot of alumni come back for this game and uh, get a chance to meander around and say hello to former teammates and former uh, opposing teammates. You know, I thought it was going to be a lot cooler and colder yeah. than it is. It's actually a beautiful day out here it for uh, November. We've had, we've had a lot worse. We've had snow. We've had rain. We've had 70-degree yeah. weather. We've had it all over the years. And somehow we persevered, Kev. They have. 42 degrees right now with beautiful sunshine. Give coming around the right side. It's big hole up there. He's got the first. Yeah. They're going to be very, oh, very close, close if not. Yeah, you get over the Looks like where he's 16. marking it, it's past the uh, 16. Yep. They're moving it. Is yep. that AJ? Yeah. Yeah, AJ, AJ Nash. Nash. Nice job. Nice run there. Nice hole there, too, by the Green Wave right side of the offensive line. Opening that up. Yeah. Shout out and happy birthday to number 44, Mason Nash. It's his birthday today. Don't know how much we're going to see of Mason, where this is the last game of the seniors, so I expect we usually see a lot of senior running plays and pass plays, but we might see Mason get some action some at some point during the game, but happy birthday. Mm. Foley now lines up in the backfield. Riley puts Rickinson in motion, looking to throw. He's got Riley him wide open. Downfield, and he's going to be, oh. oh, knocked. It's going to be knocked away down near the 40-yard line. Ball was a little bit underthrown. He had Nash behind the defense, but good recovery there by Will Frazier, the captain, number 17. Well, that's the old solid play the Green Wave used to run very successfully, and it was definitely there. So the Green Wave will definitely be coming back to that. It just needs to put a little bit more on it. So bring up second down from the 16-yard line. Riley wearing number 10, as his coach and father did when he played for the Green Wave. See what they do here now. With the he wears it better. <laughs> Pease lined up in the backfield along with Rickinson. He's going to give it to Rickinson. Big hole on the right side. Rickinson gets it up to about the 20-yard line. A nice five-yard pickup for you. A pickup that's, you know, what the Green Wave needs to do. Women Hanson doing, linebacker is doing a good job. Abbott is opening up that hole at the line of scrimmage. And then they're kind of closing it once, they, once the, the running back gets by that line. Hmm. And just giving up the four or five. But one of those you got to think is going to be broken away by... Guys like Izzy. Yeah, I'd like to see a good, you know, good run back by Izzy. Get into a little cadence there where I can, you know, go off, Sean. I haven't been able to do that much this year. <laughs> well, let's hope you do. I know. So third and about six here for the Green Wave. Looking to throw is Riley. Riley on down. Out. What a catch. Nice grab at the 26 It's going to be a little bit line. short. Looks like it's going to be a little bit short. Very close. It looks yep. like he had to come back a little bit for that ball, and it's going to be about a yard short there for the Green Wave. Outstanding effort by Foley and great coverage. He was hit immediately as he's got his hands on the ball. Yeah. Riley kind of had to drop his down, arm down like, you know, three quarters on the side there to uh, to get that off. So nice job by Riley and uh, Nash to, or was it Foley? Foley had Foley that, to yep. uh, catch that. Nice job, nice connection there. So the ball's at the 25-yard line with a fourth and one. And we'll see what Abington does here. Do they use a hard count? I see Women Hanson coaches telling their defensive line not to fall for the hard count and give up the five yard penalty. Green Wave, though, coming out. They got Powers, Rickardson, and Nash. I think it's going to maybe field. push the pile here. Clogging up the middle right now. Whoa, oh, fumble. fumble. Oh, jeez. That's a ball that's it's Women Hanson ball. Either way, they don't get the first down. It's yeah. going to be Women Hanson ball. Mm. So. Whitman yeah. Hansen does come out with a turnover on downs or a turnover on a fumble at the 25. <laughs> tough break there for the Green Wave. Yeah, I mean, the hard thing, too, is you put your defense in a tough spot there just because it's, um, you know, four down territory already for the Whitman Hansen. So hopefully the Green Wave defense is up to the challenge here. 5.39 on the clock here. Whitman Hansen with some great field position now. First and 10 from Green Wave 25. They, they all pack in tight. This is kind of the offense that Women Hansen's always run. Yep. Give them a seven. He's Cutting gone. Back. Yeah, he's, he's going to be just 
Walton in. It's Evan Casey untouched. Yeah. It's a nice cutback against the grain, and everyone well, they, was going right. He went left. They kind of pushed the whole pile on the right-hand side out, kind of created a seam, and he just had to cut back there, and there, nobody was there for the green wave. Well executed play by the Panthers there and gets them on the board first here at 532 in the first quarter. Watch the block. A lot of white shirts going right, and then Casey sees it and cuts it back left and dances into the end zone untouched. And we'll you're trying up. to, you know, the defense you're trying to contain and kind of push him in so he doesn't get outside. And he's able to see that seam and was just able to run around the side. Toss just toss it back the to back. the outside. That's a big boy running that yeah, ball. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to get the senior a couple of points, and they do resuscitate him as he gets up off the field. Noah I'm surprised they let that go Noah on, Hopkins, Sean. Noah number 71. With 5.32 to go. 5.32 to go. Yeah. 5.32 to go in the first quarter here. Well, the thing is, too, I mean, like, it's, you know, the field position I don't think would have mattered because – I think Casey would have had that touchdown from 50 yards, you know, if they yeah. even if they kicked it there. That was he was on the he's on the loose there. So Panthers will kick off on the 40 yard line here to see so the Green Wave put together put together a good run back here with the again the sun in the receiver's eyes behind the Whitman Hanson back. And again, Brendan Moore, the junior, will kick off for the Panthers. Left-footed kicker, a nice high, high end-over-end kick, kick coming down to Izzy at the five. Turns it around, return right up the middle. Izzy gets face, face mask. mask. Izzy still on his feet as he gets it up over the 30 and take it down. Good return by the Green Wave. Yeah, a little bit of an incidental face mask, but I don't think there is any such thing. Such thing, right? A face mask is a face mask. Yeah. I mean, it, the, the, I think at the they used to be like a five-yarder and a 15-yarder, but. So the Green Wave now will start it at their own 32-yard line. So hopefully they can get a couple of, uh, you know, a couple more first downs. They were able to get a couple of first downs there on that last drive if they can do that again. The, you know, that's the thing. Like, add, you know, a couple more. You know, Green Wave has to really play pretty much mistake-free football. Foley and Rickinson in the eye backfield. They give to Rickinson, coming back right. the other way. Rickinson up over the 35, then just gets one guy, gets to him, and slows him down enough to take him down. Otherwise, he had a lot of pay dirt in front of him. What a great jab stop and cut by yeah. Rickinson there as he kind of just jabbed left and then just planted his foot and took off right. You know, you're not going to see many, you know, prettier five yard carries there than that one. That was a beautiful play by Rickinson. Evan Casey on the tackle, and he is their go to guy offensively and defensively. He's made a couple of good tackles already, but a pick up a six, mm -hmm. or a pick up a five, they'll call it. So grab up second and five. Again, Rickinson, the sole man in the run. No, sorry, he's behind Foley in the eye. They give it to Foley right up the middle. Foley the with a hole up over the 45, gets a first down. They're going to move the stakes for the Green Wave up at the 47-yard line. Nice block in that quick hitter for the Green Wave. Yeah. We always say, you know, when they when they can do that successfully, you know, I think it's the the chance that the game goes in their favor is, you know, just dramatically increases. They've always had that play. You know, there's been so many different, like Paul Noble and, yep. you know, Galbranson, this, you know, uh, and Lacerda, Jack yeah. Mal Mal yeah, Malafronte. Malafronte. There's just yeah. been so many of the players that have been able to, you know, been that guy that's able to get that right up, that little quick dive. Salamini out wide to the far side. Give us to Rickinson, left side. Rickinson gets turned around the back of the cell on his feet, though, crosses midfield and gets it up to about the 49 yard line. Makes four yards out of nothing right there. Yeah, nice job of keeping the legs going and not giving up and getting, a, you know, making something out of nothing there, picking up three yards rather than just, you know, having it right at the line of scrimmage. So nice job by Rickinson. This is going to be interesting because they want to give Rickinson the ball today because it's his, you know, he's been out since really game three. After, well, game four, he got injured. And they want to get him out there running, but he's not been able to practice full speed for several weeks so we'll see uh, how much he can take I'm sure he's going to give everything he's got slot left formation give to Rickinson up the middle he mm -hmm. slipped as he was making us cut at midfield right. yeah it looked like he was just cutting to the outside there and just the, the A gave away on him so picked up a buddy yard Mason Nash and William LeBlanc check in LeBlanc was injured last game also which I failed to notice yeah so that really hurt yeah you know, some of their coverages because you know the, the one thing is you know this team is uh, I think a talented team but they're not they don't have a lot of depth so when you know folks go down and you'd have to move the different players around and LeBlanc's one of those unsung heroes where uh, both offensively and defensively he is very difficult to replace 
So let's see what they do here with two men in the backfield behind Riley in the third down play. Riley looking to throw. Looking downfield, still looking, now running, and he puts it up in the air, and it's going to oh, be out of bounds. Yep. picked off yep. at the 37-yard oh. line. Got to throw that away. Yep. Got to throw it out of bounds. I think he thought he was, but it just uh, wasn't far enough out of bounds. So yep. Whitman Hanson will take over with 2.46 to go and an 8-0 lead mm -hmm. at the Whitman Hanson 37. Mm. 2.46. Sean Riley and Kevin Whalen bringing this Abington Greenway football action, the 111th game. And Abington would like to have a quick stop or pick up a turnover of their own right now and kind of reverse direction here. Well, this is the you know first uh, really field position wise. This is as far back as Whitman Hanson's been. It's their second possession, third possession actually, right? Yep. And they get two wideouts to the far side. No one. No one. Put a man in motion. Look passing. At He's passing. No. no, he didn't sweep this. Oh, it's a double pass. It was a handoff and a pass. Yeah, halfback half option half pass. Kugan. It looked like he was doing it, and then it looked like he was going to run. And I think you cut Green Wave kind of in between of like, what are you doing? You know, which, what are you doing? And but As, Yeah, we missed the handoff because he had the running back at his back to us. So Coogan went right, threw it downfield, but it was overthrown. Ball's incomplete. Yeah, it looked like he was getting ready to throw the ball, but then it looked like he was starting to think about running it. He had one guy one-on-one -on -one out in the outside there. So bring up second and ten. I'm always a guy, Sean, on that. Unless you have somebody that can really throw the ball, it's like yeah, you want yeah. your quarterback throwing, yeah. you know. But, you know, as like we said at the top of the game, you know, teams like to mix it up this, uh, this game. It comes that same formation. They it's toss it back to number 22. Gets pick up about five or six in the play. That's Trevor Guggins on the carry. Mm. That's that double tight formation that they used successfully for the touchdown. Well, and that was the Bob Bancraft offense as yeah. well, where kind of everybody fills into the hole, quarterback included. You know, when they follow in, they just kind of try to, you know, overnumber the your numbers on defense. Yeah, and if you can pick three, four, five yards up each time, then you've got to just keep moving the ball. So let's see if Green Wave can halt them here on the third down play from the 43. It's important down here. Yeah, same formation. They're going the other way with it. Tries to cut back, oh, gets that first, and he's going to be taken down. That was, was it 14? Yeah. 14. Number 14, that's Johnny Walker, a sophomore. Good bit of run in there. Walker punched it outside. Yeah, it looked like the Green Wave had an opportunity to yeah. stop him for the you know before the first down marker, but he was able to kind of get loose there and pick up some extra yardage to get gain the first down. How about that? Slow motion instant replay from Matt Nelson and Kevin Tachi. And again, our cameramen, Matt Lyons, Paul Watson, and Ryan Tully. Thank you guys for everything you're doing. First and ten. They come up with that same tight formation now. Really mixing it around. They got Nick Beauregard, number 43, is the the back behind the quarterback. They toss it, going to the left side now, and slips as he crosses over the 40. So yeah, it gets about the 39. About the 39 yard line. So they basically have been tossing it to the wings who are just following the fullback. But they follow the everybody in, yeah, everybody yeah. into the hole and they just try to, you know, push that pile and you know what we saw that when they're touchdown, you know, they kind of create creases because when they push the pile you know, out, then you can cut back against that, and then they have everybody sealed off. Frazier lines up on the right side wing with Guggins on the left side wing. So they get the fullback behind the quarterback. The quarterback's keeper is going to roll and looking downfield. Looking for Frazier now, he's going to turn it upfield, and he's going to step out very close to the first down mark. We'll see if he got the yard to gain or not. I think he's going to give it to him. Burrows, so pretty good speed yeah, there for does, Burrows. He does give it to him. Gives him the first down. You can see the replay there as he just stepped out of bounds beyond the first down marker. Ball at the 33. First and ten as they move the stakes. I want to thank Steve McGuire and Adam Nash and Steve Wakelin and Dan Ridden over there helping us out on the chain gang. Professionally done. Gave to the right side. It's Casey once again. Picks it up. Now he bumps it outside. Side, side wow, line. he's a big back. He is. Evan Casey, number 12, fullback and linebacker. Number seven. That, geez, he is a... Uh, 
to kind of dip the shoulder at that. Dip the shoulder there. He's a big kid. You can see him punching it outside and then decides he's going to go right down and tiptoe down the sideline and gets a few extra yards at the very end it's of the It's going to be the end of the first quarter here, Sean, with the green wave down, 8 nothing. It's been pretty much all Whitman Hanson. So far, Kev. So, so far. far. We'll see where it goes. We're going to take a minute between the quarter here to recognize the Abington Midget team and the Abington Pee Wee team who are down in the north end zone. Both of these teams just won the Super Bowl, which Number. has been tremendous. I'm already working on their nickname, Sean. I'd like to draw your attention to the north I'm already working zone. on their nicknames. That is the scoreboard end zone. Recently, the Abington Pee Wee and the Abington Midget football teams won their respective Super Bowls. Let us welcome both teams to Memorial Field. First up are the Pee Wees. Next up, we have the Midgets with their coach. Congratulations to both the Abington Green Wave Pee Wees and the Abington Midgets football programs. We look forward to seeing you playing on Memorial Field at the high school sometime soon. Congratulations to the players and the coaches. Well done. All right, nice to see those young guys out there. They were did a great job. The midgets were unbelievable this season, just really packed. We're looking forward to seeing a lot of those guys up here as freshmen next year. So here we go to start the game, start the uh, second quarter, first down, left side. They toss number 22, but he's going to be taken down for a loss in nice the backfield job. by Nash. Nash, number 29, did a nice job of shedding his block there on the edge and able to come down and make the tackle. Good job by Nash, makes it second and 12. And, you know, that's one of the things too, Sean, I think, you know, this defense in this formation, I mean, this offense in the formation that they run is, you know, substantially different than what they've seen all year long. Yep. So I think, you know, you look at, it, sometimes it does take a little bit of time to kind of adjust to what they're doing, and you can adjust how you're, how you're playing their offense. Again, Beauregard is, is the fullback. Frazier's on the near side wing. Let's see if they run left with Frazier. No, Casey. they run right Casey. with Casey. Yep, Casey the same play. back. Same thing. Yep. And he's going to walk in from 14 yards out. Yep. Evan Casey, Evan Casey, big tall running back. Run you got to get guys on the weak side there to come down, Sean, and kind of fill that lane. So mm -hmm. he picks up his second touchdown, the first, a 25 yard run. He's a big kid. First one was running to the right, cut back left. Second one was running to the right, cut back left. At 11 16 here in the second quarter. And we'll see if they go for two once again. It is funny anyway, in high school football. Sometimes you do have a kicker and sometimes you just don't. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really the, uh, you know, it's, it's most most pe people have a kicker, but. Kevin, I'm going to guess right now the left side wing, Cole Claw, is going to get the handoff. He's number 50. He does. He's, he's got a throw. He's, and he throws it into the end zone. No, he's, no, he's no good. No, no he him. was not in there. Wow. Give me a break. He was not in the end zone. I don't think the ball crossed. <laughs> he never crossed. He wasn't in. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> the ball literally hit before the goal line. I thought so. Do we have an instant replay of that one? I don't know. I'm looking for it, yeah. So the uh, women Hansen trying to get some of their big boys into the scoring column, and that was number 50. He passed him. Maddox Colclaw on the pass. Makes it a 16 nothing game here with 11-16 left to go here in the second quarter. And when it, now the Green Wave will have the sun at their backs. Again, we got Nash and Rickardson back standing at the five. Yeah, seen some pretty good kicks here from Brendan Moore. It's funny, yeah, they don't do the extra point, yeah. but he's got a pretty good leg on the kickoff. Nuts. Line drive. Gonna roll nice Izzy charity hop. The ten. Izzy Rickinson up the middle. Izzy looking for a hole. Breaks it. Oh, oh. an ankle tackle at the 40. Oof. Nice run back. Yeah, he. Woo. I thought he like was going to go left. He would just cut over right, and he did have a lane there, but he was just able to. Whitman Hanson play was just able to grab him. He's going to break one of those. Mm -hmm. and mocking him at the 
41, I think so. Yeah, 42. Near the 42. 42 yard line. Here's the replay of that point after. Kokla throwing it. Is <laughs> the way he goes. I don't know. It looked like. The well, ball was definitely never. The ball, yeah, the was ball didn't break the plane. It doesn't matter if the player does. Right. So the ball at the 42 now. Green wave in the shotgun formation. Riley's going to keep it, trying to get up the middle. Not much of a hole there for him. Pick up of maybe one there. <laughs> Try to spread out the defense a little bit and have Riley run up the middle. That play was successful a couple times against Rockland, and the East Bridgewater was up well. Boy, it was refreshing to see Izzy at full speed there. You know, we haven't seen that in a long time. It's good to see. Kevin's waving to his granddaughter down My there. Granddaughter the Claire is down there. Connor's down there, too. Second and eight. They put wideouts to each side. Solomini, the, nope, Solomini comes off the field, and Abaddon calls a timeout. They didn't have the right men on the field. So they'll take a quick break I think break they only here. have 10 guys out there. Hey, I want to send a shout-out to uh, Zuzu Hajar and Trevor Grafton of the Abaddon Green Wave soccer team. They were both named to the Eastern Mass Soccer Coaches Association EMAS All-Star game. Um, the all-star team that's actually going to be played tomorrow friday the day after thanksgiving at concord kyle high school so congratulations zuzu huja and trevor oh, well, congratulations see. to both a great season and uh you know and actually great their, careers there for the green wave their coach brian Kloss is going to be there also well actually trevor grafton is named to the all-state team which is huge and their coach brian Klaus has been named coach of the year by the Eastern Massachusetts Soccer Coaches Association. So congratulations to Coach Kloss and to Zuzu Haja and Trevor Graff. And Trevor had 24 goals this season, which was one shy of tying the school record held by Robbie McLafferty. All right, second and eight. Ten and a half to go here in the second quarter. Give is to Rickardson. Rickardson cuts it back, still on his feet. Rickardson He's breaks still going. away the 50. He's still going. Rickardson on his feet, and oh. they get tackled from behind to the 40. A touchdown-saving wow. tackle there. By number 43, Nick Beauregard. Rickinson did a lot of that on his own, too, Sean. That was yeah. just a great running, you know, great run by Rickinson there, number number two for the Green Wave. Rickinson's running like he's got a little fire in the belly today. He really is. He knows, you know, this is probably it for him. And, you know, when we think of, you know, he's been playing since, what, he was a freshman. So he came up a little bit as a freshman, played a sophomore and junior year. So he's just been a spectacular player for the Green Wave. He's been on the verge of breaking one about three or four times already. He's now lined up deep in the eye behind Foley, the other senior running back. Nash goes in motion to give to Rickardson right side. Rickardson finds a hole, dives forward inside the 35-yard line. Nice vision up. there, nice vision there by Rickardson. Kind of just cutting back a little bit to pick up a few extra yards there, making it a second and five for the Green Wave. It is such a beautiful day weather-wise here for both teams. Love to see that for the benefit of the, of the seniors from Whitman Hanson and from Abington. Goldman trying to settle some folks down there on the Green Wave side. He does a good job out there, he the does. referee. Zenith out wide to the far side. Looks like Foley lined up right behind Riley. They give the Rickinson come around the left side, gets hit in the backfield. Still on his feet, though, gets back, picks up about one yard. So it's going to make it third and about four here for the Green Wave. That could have been a four-yard loss pretty easily, but he's shaking been. off. Izzy's taking a breather now. So Looks like it's Green Wave maybe make a passing situation here for the Green Wave. The blank checks in for the Green Wave. Yep, third and four at the 34, heading northbound on Memorial Field. Haven't done many sweeps or anything like that today, Sean. Nothing really outside. I think, you know, Whitman Hanson has shown that they do have pretty good pursuit, though, from, you know, sideline to sideline. Well, let's see what they do. They got LeBlanc lined up on the right side wing. Zenas out to the far side. Connor Pease is the tight tight end on the left side. Uh-oh, uh -oh, movement. Wait a minute, let's see who moved first. It's going to be, I think it's going to be offense powers on the right side. They're saying movement yeah. by the green wave. We'll see here. Let's see. Yep. So a third and four becomes a third and nine now at the 39. Mm -hmm. Izzy's oh. checking back in. That's the type of stuff that, you know, the Green Wave has kind of struggled with a little bit this year, Sean. Kind of those, you know, inopportune times. They've had penalties and, yeah. you know, it just really kind of hurts their, uh, you know, their progressions on offense. So here they come. They break the huddle up to the line of scrimmage now. Zenith out wide to the far side. 
Rickinson offset left. The quarterback is going to get a quick dive up the middle. Rickinson going to get hit as he crosses over the 35 to the 34. Bring up fourth and four. Gets that uh, five yards from the penalty back. Yeah. And Green Wave likely will go for it here at the 34. Just coming under eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. Want to wish uh, Walter Pastor, Hall of Famer, former coach of the Green Wave. Player, right? Yeah. Uh, he was going to be turning 100 years old on December 12th. And the trivia question about Walter holds an NCAA record for the most interceptions in a collegiate game. Right, Brown. looking to throw. He's going to step it up, try to get up to the uh, line. Fumble. And, and he's not going to be, he's going to be short of the first anyhow right. at the 32. And so it's going to be a first down going the other way. But so two yards short. Yep, it'll be a turnover on downs there. Whitman Hansen's going to get the ball back. See rather running right, and then the defensive end gets up and squeezes them back inside. And the white shirts were able to collapse around them. So it was seven and a half to go here in the second quarter. Whitman Hansen gets the ball back. Up at 16 32. nothing. Left to go see if Whitman Hansen goes for a big play here, a little jugular here, or if they're going to just try to take time off and march downfield. Yeah, let's see if the Green Wave can make a big play. Now the quarterback is going to be looking into the sun, whereas the receivers will not have the sun in their eye this time. Like they line up, though, in the tight formation. Well, they haven't really been throwing. Now they'll throw, right, because they said that. <laughs> Gave coming around the right side. A hold! <laughs> Izzy with a nice hit there on <laughs> Trevor Guggins as he crossed over the line of scrimmage. On the end there, like Foley there was just held. Wrapped. Wrapped around, yeah. Let's see if Kevin's right on the... Uh, Watch on the right-hand on the right left -hand side there of the defense. <laughs> yeah. He had the other round wrapped around. Yeah, around. Yeah. That is clear there. You can definitely see it. All the referees at home are making their decisions. All right, second and seven now. Again, the same tight formation. Full back and two tight wings. They've pitched left side down. Number 17. That's oh, nice job tackling Will Frazier as he crossed over the line of scrimmage. Right. Third down. you got Carey in there. You've got Pease in there. Nice job of Buckley's in there as well. So nice job by the Greenway B. Brings up a third and about four. Aiden Powers helping out, number 75. Checking out of the game for a breather right now is Wojo, Steve Wojciechowski. So big third down here for the Green Wave. They really want to kind of get this ball back with coming down near the six minute mark. And Burrows gets the play selection from the sideline now. They got to pick up a little more than four yards here. And we'll see which way they try to run it. Guggins is the left side wing. He goes in motion. They give it right up the, the middle. Right Fullback. Uh-oh. Oh, Big hole. Gone. He's going to break away. That's Beauregard. Yep. Beauregard is going to take it to the house yeah. from 62 yards out. Something we hadn't seen was the quick hitter up the middle. Well, you know, it's one of those things, Sean, all year long. Green Wave's just struggled with those big plays. Yeah. I think, you know, we're seeing that obviously today. So. Make nice hole there by the Women Hanson offense. And once he got through, you know, with the tight defense playing up against the tight offensive line, there right, was no just, one there. Right, there's no help back there. And a big rush by the big fullback. We hadn't called his name too often. And he broke, showed some pretty good breakaway speed there, too. They yeah, got they line up for the, the kick. End. Yeah. And it is through good. the uprights and good. So makes it 23 to zero here with 5.48 remaining in the second quarter. Moore puts it through the uprights pretty easily. You can see there's a nice view of it coming right at you from our sideline camera. And Beauregard just saw the orange pylons ahead of him. And the Green Wave kick return team will get out there, try to break one for the home home crowd here. Twenty-three zero. Twenty-three zero. 
And we've got to kind of keep the heads up and get going here. Exactly. Kind of, you know, the offensively, they just, you know, they, they really struggled with just getting a big play, Sean, and yeah. kind of getting chunks of yardage. And, you know, the problem is you get that five-yard penalty, something like that, it just really kind of, you know, puts them in a spot that they really haven't been able to dig out of. <coughs> Group kick. They're trying to keep that away from, from Izzy. Izzy. See the potential there. It's from He's the 14-yard line. Oh, oh he, he stays up. He did stand to get to the ball about the 35, 34 yeah. yard line, though. Oh, I don't know what that's all about. What's that? The kid 31 just like jumped on top of him and drove him back in the ground well after the play. They mock it at the 35. First and 10, Green Wave on their own 35 yard line. You're right, Kevin. We're back, you know, just to the last possession when they had third and four. Even if that play is short of the four yards, you got a fourth and short. Short, right, know? right. But instead it became third and nine on the penalty. Right. And that just makes it much more difficult for any team. Exactly. You know, you, you haven't had the uh, ability to kind of get those six, seven yards, you know, when you needed it. Here's a pitch now coming on the near side. Rickardson picks up about a yard. Oh, no, no, no yardage. Number 55's helmet came off, so by rule he has to sit out for a play. That boy's a sophomore. He's a pretty big sophomore. So it makes it second and ten here. Nice crowd of Green Wave and Panther fans here enjoying their Thanksgiving morning, and we hope that uh, whenever you're watching this game or if you're watching it live that you're going to have a safe and healthy Thanksgiving. Izzy lines up in the right side wing. Lucas Foley in the backfield. In motion is easy, but they're going to give it to A.J. Coming back okay. the other way. A.J. Nash, a nice cut. A.J. Nash up over the 45, up to the 49-yard line. First down for the Green Wave. The counter play that the yep. Green Wave has been running for years right there. That's a perfect example of it. Got to get the defense going one way, then cut it back the other way. And A.J. Nash did a nice job of running his way through the secondary of the Whitman Handsome Panthers for the pickup of the first down. That's a great way to use A.J. Nash. You see the cut just reading off his blocks. Using, in that case, Izzy as a decoy coming to the near side, and then A.J. going back to the far side. Had a lot of real estate in front of him. Got a slot left formation with Nash in the slot. Two runners in the backfield. They give it to Rickinson with a quick hitter. Rickinson over the 45, over the 40. First down for the Green Wave. Nice pickup of about 12 to 13 for Isaiah Rickinson. Nice job there by Rickinson. I tell you, like, he's just uh, a man on fire today. Yeah. He's really running hard. He's, and they, you know, they're just they're focusing on him, too. You can tell. There's always three guys right around him. Hurry up offense for the green way. They give it a uh, Nash. Nash. Nash, nice cutback. A.J. Nash still driving. He get a first down. Yeah, he got at least nine, if not the ten. And there's some pushing and shoving after the I know. play once again. I don't know. Like, when the uh, flags start coming, because there have been like two or three times here with yeah, a couple of like extracurricular stuff. And so it's going to be a second and about one here. Now, this is a perfect position for the green wave, Sean, because, you know, you can you can run the ball, just try to get the first down, or you can try to make a, take a shot at it downfield and pass. See what the green wave does here. Nash is okay. He comes out to the sideline, but someone was giving him the business there under the pile. And uh, Referee Goldman will not stand for that. Apparently he is. <laughs> well, I think, you know, I can't see that it's going to happen one more time. I think someone's going to get a little laundry on the field, if not more. Second and one. Give to Rickardson. Rickardson, stutter of steps, jumps over the line of scrimmage, gets the first down inside the 25-yard line. Nice so run in there. Move the stakes for the green wave. You know exactly what you needed to get and get to. Was able to cut it back in. Picked up about two there on the play. Needed one. Having him moving the ball here. Started at their own 35, and a timeout being called by Whitman Hansen on the field. Timeout, Whitman Hansen. Kevin, uh, I'd like to see this drive, Sean. I mean, this is exactly what you needed to do down, you know, by a couple of touchdowns here. You know, you definitely needed to, uh, you know, put a good sustained drive, take some time off the clock, but at the same time, you know, the most important thing here, as we've always said, is to put the ball in the end zone and score and get some points on the board. I want to congratulate Nate Duggan and Connor Pease, who were both uh, inducted in the National Honor Society just about two weeks ago. And also, shout out to Madison Carini and Anika Kavala for being accepted by audition to the Southeast District Musical Fe Festival to be held in January of 2023. Um, there were obviously more people inducted into the National Honor Society other than Nate and Connor. 
If I can read off a few of them. The class of 2023 is Jada Bryant, Alexander Jernigan, Mary Klein, Alana Magnuson, and Kayla Sullivan. From the class of 2024 was Sarah Ahern, Shanna Alman, Emily Augusta, Jessica Bliff, Molly Buchagross, Zachary Buchagross, Grace Dankies, Riel De, De Jesus, Sof Sophia Flanagan, Jillian Groom, Caitlin Happel, Paige Kelly, Avery McCann, Colin McDermott, Mike O'Leary, Callie Pino, Jack Regan, Julie Riley, Henry Rogers, Savannah Rosano. Tell me when I got to stop. Danica, Danica Shanahan. Delilah Schnell, Travis Swanson, Natalie Van Luling, Ellen Williamson, and Selena Wood. Congratulations right. to all those National wow. Society members. Perfect timing, Sean. Nash in motion. The counter to Izzy. Got Izzy cuts it back inside. Nice down on the 15 yard line. About a yard short of the first. Nice bit of running. Well, that's that's exactly, you know, ripping off those nine yards on those yeah. you know, on first down is exactly what you need to do. Good block in there by the Green Wave offensive line. You can see Izzy stutter steps right, comes back left. Seems like they've a had a lot of cut. success there with that counter play. Yeah, they're putting the pressure on the yeah. Lebanon and linebackers. Well, the other good thing, too, is that, you know, they're really working the clock here, too. So if they get the ball down to the, uh, you know, they're not going to give it back to him and Hanson with very, you know, limited amount of time left on the clock. Aiden Powers at center leads his teammates out to the line of scrimmage. Slot left formation. They give a quick dive to Izzy. Izzy gets the first down. He's inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Green Wave. Nice little juke on the inside with his right shoulder and then pops it back out to the left. I mean, we're seeing the type of dynamic runner that Izzy Rickardson can be. So first and goal here for the Green Wave. As we just come under about three minutes to go here in the first half. Halftime, they'll have the Booster Bomb tennis ball toss, which I bought one this time, Kev. Did you? I got one right here. Number oh. two, we're looking to win. I've seen your eyes shine. You should have saved your money. Well, it, <laughs> luckily it bounces. <laughs> First and goal. Izzy Rickinson with the ball. Gets it inside the He's 10. Got, there he goes. Outside. There he goes. Rickinson. How do you say? Touchdown, Mayla Muskegon! Izzy Rickinson from 10 yards out puts the green wave on the board and picks up a touchdown that he was just loving it being in the back of the end zone. That is Rickinson's fifth touchdown. He had one touchdown his first game, two the second game, third in the third game, and then was injured pretty much out for most of the season. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, we didn't get to see him, you know, healthy the whole year because he's just been a, a special player a nice know, over the last couple of years here for the Green Wave, and this team really, you know, was depending on him. But unfortunately, we just, you know, we're finally getting to see what we thought we were going to have all year, Sean. Yep. So 2.51 to go here in the... Half Green Wave are on the board. Another view from up high above the field. Nice cut going outside there, just outrunning the defense. And stepping into the end zone for the six points. Shotgun by Riley, looking to throw. Pulls it back to AJ. AJ, double pass. Oh, there, there you go. go. Two point conversion. Woo. AJ Nash throwing to Darren Zenas in the end zone. Nice play by the Green Wave. So nice job by the Green Wave. Good execution there. Totally fooled the uh, women handsome Panthers. You see Riley, AJ with a nice job. Make sure he's behind the quarterback, a backwards pass. Yep, and then he just tosses the lefty pass. A little lefty. Yeah. Little, yeah from little, little hop, little hop throw there. Make sure he got over the guy. Zenus all by himself. The big number five for the Green Wave. Well, Michael Riley looks like he'll be kicking off for the Green Wave here for the first time today. So it makes it 23 to 8 with 251 to go. I think Women Hansen's used two timeouts, I think. At one. least one. At least one. I know of one. So maybe two. Abbott and used one timeout earlier. <laughs> and Women Hansen, remember, will be receiving the opening kickoff in the second half. So remember last week, too, like uh, Riley kicked a ball that was. It's going to be. That's going to go out of bounds, right? Nope. It's going to roll, roll, roll. Oh, oh just out of, out of bounds down at the four. Five. Yeah. So Women Hanson will have the opportunity to decide. Will they want it at the 35? Or if they make him kick it again. It's all the way down to the five-yard line, so a nice kick. Remember that the receivers are looking into the sun also. So it looks like they're going to make him re-kick, which is fine with us. Mm. Nope, wait a minute. to get 35. Yep. But yeah, they're going to take the ball at the 35-yard line. Referee Goldman. It's funny, in the lower um, like Pee Wee's and Midgets, I believe they've done away with a kickoff, Sean, now. Oh, really? Yeah. I know they, and like my nephew played in, they don't do kickoffs, they just start the ball like at the 25 yard line. 
reminder to go see Mr. Merrick to the booster bleacher bomb. So here comes Whitman Hansen now. Shotgun formation. Put a man in motion. They give the full back up the middle, though. Is that Beauregard again? No, that's Casey. number seven. Yep, that's Casey. Oh. Big kid. Surprised they're not going a little bit in the air here. But just, you know, they do have plenty of time. About two and a half to go here in the first half. Kevin, I'm being told that one of our former Patriots, or compatriots, John Wells is listening to us live right wow. now. Wow. Any, any, Holy cow. Any message to Johnny Wells, class of 82, halfback? Probably should have been a fullback. He wasn't really a quick halfback, but, you know. <laughs> you know, Sean, shouldn't be throwing rocks at that <laughs> glass house. True. That's true. <laughs> look at a throw. Oh, big rush. Puts it up in the air. Look, the ball look, is look, up look, and, look. oh, falls incomplete. Yeah, had Nash turned around, he might have had a shot at that too. Yeah, okay, no, both of them were running, and it's, uh, yeah, if they look back, they definitely, that ball was up there. Another good pressure by the green wave Huge here pressure. coming in. Kind of hit him as he was throwing the ball, and that kind of made it where they were, made it where the ball kind of hung up there in the air and yeah, gave Barrow's green just wave. just kind of throws an arc, doesn't he? You know, he may, I mean, but it looked like, I think it's partially a little bit of both too, right? He's getting hit at the same time he's throwing. So third and three now. Mm. At the 42. And Greenway would love to stop him here. The clock stopped at 2.09. So third and, yeah, Greenway stops him here. They get the ball back. They might be able to do something. Make a, do a little more damage. Shotgun formation. With, it looks like Frazier in the backfield. They put a man in motion. They give it to Frazier. Gets in the backfield. And there a big go. stop there Green by wave. the Greenwave. I'd call a timeout here if I'm the Greenwave. Wow. Timeout. Green wave timeout makes it fourth down here. Pease was in there. Looked like Jonathan Sharp Hunt was in there, and one other player. It's going to bring up a fourth down situation. Yeah, just great job of Green Wave getting pressure right up the middle there for about a three or four yard loss there. Watch exactly what they needed to do there. Get the ball back here for their offense. Watch this penetration here in the replay. The blitz coming from the right side gets hit in the backfield, and there's no way he's going to get. The first down yardage. Nice job by the Green Wave defense. So, you know, the, fourth, the, the the Panthers have only punted once, and their punt, it was only about a 25-yard punt, but they got about a 25-yard roll on it. So Green Wave could end up with pretty good field position here. Let's hope so. Line of scrimmage is at the 39. And hopefully maybe we can get Izzy Rickinson to have a good run back here. Even better. So fourth and six. And we got two men back again is uh, AJ and Izzy. AJ Nash, a junior. Izzy Rickinson, a senior. Punter is looking into the sun. Put a man in motion. A snap back. Kick gets away. Again, another odd kick end over end. Going to bounce and roll inside the 30 and then stop on its own about the 29 yard line. So no return for the Green Wave, but they've got 151 on the clock. Well, decent field position. A 31 yard kick or so, thereabouts. So I see a uh, former Abingdon Green Wave player, Steve Rowell in the house today at Memorial Field. One of the uh, soon to be brother-in-law. Soon to be brother-in-law, yeah. If he's got one more week to prove himself, Let's see. <laughs> He's uh, could be an addition to the family. We'll see with this, some final decisions to be made during the next week. <laughs> see what happens. First and 10 on the 34 for the Green Wave. Riley spins, throws, a little bubble screen on the far side. Not much doing over there. So we'll bring Pick up, up a second a down. Pick up a couple. Nice execution, though, by the Green Wave. Like to see that, you know, anything positive is good. Oh, a flag being thrown. Again, that's going to be a penalty, it looks like, against the Panthers. No, does two things, too. It stops the clock, Sean. Want to also welcome Brian McLean and Tim Wells back here watching the game. Good to see at least one good athlete here in the, uh, in the bleachers. Kevin, you graduated in what, 79? 79, yes. You were part of the all-Clorox team, too? No, I well, sort of. My uniform was usually pretty clean by the end of the game. <laughs> the dead ball, personal foul. Uh, 15 yard penalty. Wow. First down. Green like wave, big 
Big gain there and a big uh, first down, bringing it closer to midfield now. Well, they're still uh, knocking it off. Holy cow. That's like 25 yards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's from the spot of the foul he did. So I think they're all the players there. are like, what? Yeah, because. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we've said there's been a couple of chippy situations yeah. down there that I think they've let go. And Line of scrimmage was back at the 29. We're now at the 49. Mm. With was like 135 on the clock. Riley shotgun. Looking. Going outside, looking for LeBlanc, oh, and it's going to be, oh, picked, picked off, off at the 29 yard line. Good defensive play by the safety coming yeah. up, Matt Phelps. Yeah. Phelps. Now they got, you know, they had coverage underneath and then coverage over the top, and, you know, it was just uh, not enough for the Green Wave to come down with it. So it makes it a minute 28 here to go. Riley trying to lead LeBlanc, get some air under it, but that just gave the safety just that extra step or two to get up there and challenge LeBlanc, so the ball has a 28-yard line. And Whitman Hansen will now have a shot to try to put some more points on the board. You know, I one of the things, too, is like, you know, Rickardson is, is really kind of working that, um, you know, looks like he was able to almost break several different, yeah. you know, balls there. So, you know, times carries there. So, you know, just trying to keep feeding him and hopefully, like, he'll break one. Women Hanson with a wide formation, a spread formation, say shotgun. Hit hit it. Oh, it's a double, it's double gonna reverse. It's going to be a, a flea flicker. Pass. Going deep, looking for number 13, and oh, oh falls incomplete. Hmm. Women Hanson pulling everything out of the uh, playbook here. I know, I saw that one coming. It was like. That was a pretty good throw there. It was a pretty good throw. I mean, he threw it from that the 20 it. all the way down to the 35. So that's, you know, like 30, 45 yard throw. You don't usually see that. You don't see that many times. It's, but so the other thing too is like those plays take so long to de yeah. you know, to develop, and, you know, unless the guy is completely wide open. You got to you got to puts pressure on your lineman to buy time for that double, you know, the double reverse right. there, and then set up and throw. But you need to make sure your safety is staying with that receiver. And AJ Nash did a good job there. So second and ten here for. Minute 18 to go here in the first half. Casey in the backfield behind Burrows. Burrows puts a man in motion, keeps it, looking to throw. He's rolling. Jerry, he's some pressure. He's, Jerry's chasing him. And he's going to be stepped out of bounds. Nice tackle out of bounds by Duggan, I believe that was, at about the 36. Hmm. So it's going to stop the clock with a minute nine. Duggan was like, if you're going to go out of bounds, I'm taking you out of bounds. They, they, were looking, they might have been looking for a little late hit there. It's tough, though, too. Like, you're running kind of right behind the guy. It's like you're yeah, he just trying to catch up. Inbounds, and then they you know, kind of went split out, out together. So third and about three here. Yeah, call it two, really. If they, they're mocking him at the uh, 36, he's going to get it up over the, the 38. 38. Yeah, so, yeah, it's two yards. Well, you know, I, I'm going off where Wakeland has the, you know, yeah. shot, so it's, you know. Well, it's never accurate, then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Whitman Hanson with wide outs to each side. Looks like Moore is out to the near side. Roberts out to the far side. Shotgun. Looking to throw once again. Big, huge rush. Puts it up. And nice job. Incomplete. He's behind the line of scrimmage. I don't know. It was like. Yeah. <laughs> that was Powers just threw down the receiver. Weaver. Yeah, I don't. And a huge pressure <laughs> in the backfield. Brings up fourth down. Foley, Foley threw it back to the Goldman. He lost it in the sun. Just went right over his head. Luckily. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, that, if that was because kind of, it was behind the line of scrimmage, maybe? Is that like, can you hit the guy before? I don't know that rule, but it look, I'm going to guess, though, because Powers did that, that that was the correct thing because Abington is very well coached. Yeah. It was kind of like behind the line of scrimmage there. That If a ball is tipped, you can make, you can knock down the receiver. Good pressure, though, by the green wave, Huge. forcing him to get off, and then obviously he had good coverage there as well. So you line up for the punt once again. Again, Rickardson and looks like, that, yeah, it is Nash, A.J. Nash, standing at their own 38. I'd like to see the green wave be able to get a good clean, you know, return here. Oh, it's another Low line kick. drive. Nash gets it, going to give it. No, ball's loose. Oh, and it's going to be recovered by the Panthers. No, it looks like the Green Wave has it. Well, who got well, it? No, they gave it to him. Nope. The they Pan did. Panthers did oh, get it. Flag down. Let's see who that's on. That might be on the Panthers. So a fumble at the 37. 
a kind of a wild last two minutes here. Yeah, 48 to go. See what, what happens here. They sort it out. You can see now Nash gets it. So it's going to be a, just a reverse. They give it to Rickinson, Rickinson, but the ball's down. The Panthers look like they grab it, get on the, the ball. It's, is it going to be a new kick? Oh, oh he stepped on it. Oh. Oh. The Panthers stepped on the Abbott and Green Wave player. So they get the personal foul and move him back. Wow. Foolish move by that Panther. Yeah, because they would have had great field position at about the 35. Now it's back on the other side and your own side and it's 48 seconds to go. Well, I think, you know, the important thing here for the Green Wave, just don't give up a big play, Sean. You know, just oh, make boy. sure that you kind of keep everything in front of you. Well, you just said it, Kev. I'm just, you know, that's got to you gotta say something. Yeah, you know? I guess. You know? Ball's at the 48-yard line. <laughs> the defense definitely seems like, you know, it's doing fairly well today, so it's kind of settled down a little bit. So Yeah, and the secondary's playing deep. They're playing, what, 12, 15 yards off okay. the ball. First and 10 in this Thanksgiving Day game. Burrows in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Puts it down the middle and completes it to Brendan, Braden Kane, who bobbled it but was able to haul it down back where the fumble was, basically. Get the cut throwing, so it's just under 40 seconds going here. Clock is rolling. The clock is rolling. And they're using the hurry up. Say just, happy Thanksgiving, just everyone. Out 30 there. seconds. Burrows again looking to throw. Going, looking down the left sideline, steps up. Now big pressure, dumps it off through safety valve, and it's going to be short gets, of the first. Yep, but it's going to keep the yeah, clock, clock moving. Yeah, going to roll at 17 seconds. seconds. Yeah. Timeout called. Good job by the Green Wave. Coach Patello came running down Good. to call the timeout. Good job by the Green Wave. Defense there, like tackling him in bounds. He was trying to get out of bounds there. Nice job. So we'll stop the clock with 15 seconds, and they mock it on the 30-yard line. So Whitman Hansen has... Two, maybe maybe three plays if they use the clock right. Yeah, I mean, they, they could only have one. <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. I think they have one more timeout, too. They just burned at least a second. second. Right, I know they. You didn't say their they're final. Done. They're done? Kate Casey's in the booth. Always love seeing Kate Casey. Happy Thanksgiving to Kate. She was down in some big time college football last week. Where were we? Old Miss? Old Miss game, yeah. special invitation from the Old Miss, you know, alumni. They wanted Kate Casey there, and uh, that's great. What a great opportunity! Want to shout out to all the alumni uh, that are here today, supporting the Green Wave. And Kevin, I want to thank you for introducing and helping me out at during the Hall of Fame ceremonial. Uh, last was it last week? My honor, Sean. It's a, a well-deserved honor for you to uh, be inducted for you know acknowledgement and recognition of all the things that you do for not only the uh, sports but also the town. It's a, it's uh, something that's long overdue. Well, like Kevin, like I said, if you weren't here as my partner in the booth, I wouldn't be doing this. I don't think you'd be doing this for the, no. the 25 or 30 not. years we've been doing it. So here we, here we go now. Second and a short two. 15 seconds to go. Looking to throw. No, oh, it's going to be a double pass again. They hand it off. Put it up. Double coverage. And oh, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. <coughs> Kane once again. Good coverage by the Green Wave. You know, it's <coughs> so good, another good pass there by yeah, good, well, you know, good uh, Hoogans, good I think coverage too, and we're down to ten seconds. So third and two. So I, they got to get the well, they want to get a first in the next two plays, but they're really looking for the end zone here with ten seconds to go. Yeah, nice job of uh, Rickardson and looked like Foley staying at home down there. You know, covering their guy. They had both guys on them, and you know, it's tough to get a a, uh, a penalty there when you have two guys kind of with the blanket yeah. coverage, you know, because you're both going for the ball. You know, there might be a lot of uh, contact, but when both guys have good position. And usually with that halfback pass, you've got you, one or two less receivers, so you've got to make sure that the targeted receiver is well covered. Foley drops back as an extra dime back here. Shotgun formation. For Burrows, Cam Burrows, the senior quarterback, looking to throw once again. Goes a quick out pass. It's, oh, oh almost picked that up. would have been Duggan. off to the races. Whew. Is that, wow. Is that Duggan? It was Duggan. Duggan. Duggan was coming up for the hit, but the ball went right by the receiver. I, and I think, Duggan. yeah. If, Duggan, I think, was looking to, to hit him, and if he was looking for that interception, he would have been gone. Four seconds here to go. Fourth down with four seconds. Wow. They're going to try a 30 
A 47? Wow, 47 field goal. Wow. Ball's marked at the 37. Rickettson's back. He can return this, right? Yeah, if it comes short. Line drive is going to be no, no good. Good. No good. And that's going to be it for the first half here. Green Wave. Eight points, 23 points for Whitman Hansen. Yeah, 23 to 8 at the half, but we're looking for a whole new ball game in the second half. This Green Wave will go to the locker room as will Whitman Hansen. We'll take a break. We're going to continue to bring you some coverage here during halftime of the Abbott High School Band. The Brewsters will have their tennis ball uh, fundraiser also, and uh, the crowd will be heading down to the Green Wave Grill. So Kevin Whalen and I will be back with more Green Wave football action in just a few minutes. Fans, we're going to go with the ever ponderous Mr. Bleacher Bomb for the band's performance. You ever did toss that shot? Yeah. You all know the rules. For those that bought a tennis ball, you must be behind the, the wall in front of the press box at the end of the grandstand. Throw your tennis ball onto the field. The closest ball to the A. Then whatever the number is for Mr. Merrick. So if you're ready, those with a tennis ball. I'll count it down from three. Get your tennis balls up in the air, everyone behind the wall. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let them go. Brian, if there's no winner, you know that Chris Nagel Fund is still needing some money. Winning ball number is 33. If you bought the ball with the number 33 on it, please go see Mr. Merrick at the table as soon as he gets off the field. And he will take care of all of your winnings for you. Thank you again once again this year for participating in the Booster Bleacher Bomb to help support the Abington Green Wave Boosters and all they do to support Abington Athletics. Thank you again to Mr. Merrick. I think that is his last Booster Bleacher Bomb as he is aging out with his young son, wow, Spencer. Aging out. Thank you, Brian. Sign uh, with a football in the middle of it. Beautiful. It's up here in the press box. 
licensed craft and bikes. First name. Lauren Van Very And now, let's hear it for the Abington Green Wave Band and the Whitman Hanson Band under the direction of Mr. Tim Leonelli. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the Abington High School Band and the Whitman Hanson Band. Great job on your collaboration. Ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of Thanksgiving Day, we would like to take a moment to extend our thanks and gratitude to someone who has been part of our Thanksgiving football tradition for more than three decades. Please direct your attention to midfield. On behalf of the student athletes, coaches, families, and fans from Abington and Whitman Hanson, we would like to recognize and publicly thank our referee, Mr. Mike Goldman, who's been the referee of this annual Crosstown football tradition for the last 30 plus years. We greatly appreciate referee Goldman's support of high school football and his love of this game, its history, and its tradition. Thank you, Mike and all of our other game officials who are helping us make this game possible today. We appreciate your efforts and wish all of our game officials a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving Day. All right, we are back for second half action and uh, very pleased to see that nice presentation to our head referee, Mike Goldman, who, as we mentioned earlier, has been doing this game, the Abington Women Hanson game, for more than 30 years. He's been a part of this tradition, much like Kevin Whalen. Yeah, absolutely. No, <laughs> wouldn't be without him. You know, there's an over-under on how many times I think we say where he went to his, his alma mater. That's right. So he's a brain tree uh, math teacher for many, many years. Derek Schwade is out there as the honorary captain with the Whitman Hanson Panthers once again. Abington obviously has Jeff Buckley, number 55, Trent Patterson, number 64, and Isaiah Ricketts, number two. And if I know referee Goldman, he's now talking to the captains to say, let's keep the tempers down. This is the last game for you seniors. Go out with pride and dignity and play a good second half. So, Kevin, we're going to be kicking off to Whitman Hanson. We're kicking off to the Green Wave. The Green Wave is going to pick the. Uh, going to kick into the sun from north well, to south. So south they, to north. Right? The Panthers are looking into the sun. The wind has picked up, not significantly, but a little bit here. Yeah, a little bit right to left. Thanks, Charlie. So, Green Wave has picked that side to do the kickoff. All right, 
12 minutes on the clock, 24 minutes to go in this game, and the Green Wave trail by 15. Want to get a defensive stop here and get a quick touchdown, try to get inch closer to uh, tying it up and Absolutely. maybe surpassing the Panthers. A lot, a lot of gadget of plays by Whitman Hanson in the first down. Although, they, you know, when they really went to their bread and butter, that's where they were successful on the ground. And Casey's just been a menace for the Green Wave, number, big number seven for the Green Wave. For the Panthers. For the Panthers, that's what I meant. <laughs> I know what you meant. Yeah, no. Riley's going to kick off. Again, another left-footed kicker. High end over end kick. Going to come down at the 25 and caught. Yeah. And they're going to fake, fake the, the uh, reverse. And that is... Frazier with the return. Number 17. Will Frazier. All the way across, did a little fake handoff there. Line of scrimmage will be at the 38 yard line. First and 10, Panthers. Again, oops, sorry, I just want to thank Matt Lyons, Paul Watson, Ryan Tully, our camera operators today, uh, Ryan from Whitman Hanson Community Access, and of course Matt Nelson and Kevin Tachi engineering the sight, sounds, and replays in the live broadcast for Abingdon Greenway football. Shout out to my Holy Cross friends, especially the guy who's down in Stanford, actually he's up in Vermont right now, and a little, yeah, watching from Vermont. And it's gonna be student body right and a big drive. Look at him fighting it. Uh, give him Fumble. Fred balls on the ground. And Green having to ball. get to, they strip it. Green wave ball. Casey was trying to get a few extra yards. It was really tough to take down. And the uh, Green Wave defense just stripped it away. And Abingdon is going to take like over. Ma was that Mason Nash with the uh, with the strip? I don't know. Who was that? First down, Green Wave. You know, Sean, it's like he had like nine guys of, you know, from Abington were over there. And he, he was all by himself. He just tried to keep on going. That's a great look, Ryan. Nice job by the Green Wave getting that big turnover right here at the beginning of the second half. And that was Patterson who stripped it away. He was just, he was fighting nice mano job. a mano. Big number 62. Now he was fighting for every extra yard there. So, Green Wave with a great opportunity here at the 47 yard line. Rickinson, Rickinson up over the 45 and gets taken Casey, down. Casey with the tackle there. Casey Isaiah just had Rickinson his leg. God, it's like he's had so many ankle tackles. Yeah. It's just, you know, they really don't get him clean. They just are able to grab his leg. So, so it's third down pickup. The Green Wave are in four down territory here. So, you know, that's all you need to do to get that first down. Positive plays, three downs, three yards at a time. Ball at the 44-yard line, second down and seven for the mighty, mighty green wave. Zenas out wide to the far side, Lucas Foley behind Riley. They're going to give it to A.J. Nash. A.J. Nash nice with a big hole on the right there. side. Nash is at the 40 35. He's Nash gone. is going to bring it downfield. Touchdown, Mina Muskegon. 43-yard run, two plays into the second half, and the green wave are on the board. They are struggling you know, with that counter play, and uh, once again using... Izzy Rickinson as the decoy and coming back across with Nash. Nice seal block there by, I think it was Patterson again, number 60, 62 there for the Green Wave. 64. 64 for the Green Wave on that right side. Just a great block there, and that was enough for Kitts. Nash going for the touchdown. Patterson was a great block and some good downfield block. And Zenas down there and another one by Connor Pease. And Nash doing a great job getting the Green Wave into the end zone very quickly here in the second, in the second half. Oh, baby. Two plays in the green wave. Yeah, that's right the way we wanted to start it. 23-14 here. A lot to celebrate in the Nash family today. Absolutely. A birthday, a touchdown, hopefully more to come. A little confusion here in the end zone going, uh, in the uh, formation. Riley rolling now, looking, kind of going back against the green corner. And oh, there he two is. Two-point conversion too is easy, good. Too easy, Sean. The big tight wow, end geez. dragging across the grain, and Riley fed him beautifully. Some nice motion going right, you know, going across to the right. Riley looking right and then just looks back for Pease and sees him wide open on the left-hand side. Nice job, nice play by the green wave, make it 23-16 here. Wow. Just like that. There's a lot of life in the crowd and some, a lot of uh, excitement on the Green Wave sideline right now. Nice view, great job of the sideline camera. Who's down there on the sideline? That's Ryan. Ryan Tully from Whitman Cable is helping us with the sideline camera. Good job working. The Abington Whitman Hanson Cable working together, Abington Whitman Hanson Band working together. It's just. Uh, you know, there's a lot of competition, but a lot of camaraderie here, here at Memorial Very Field. Festive day today. 
Wow. Ten minutes and 57 seconds to go here. So Riley's going to kick off again. Looking for another turnover for Whitman Hansen. Exactly what the green wave needed. It was a nice turnover. Been able to execute a touchdown. <laughs> Onside kick on a high bounce. And looks like number 20 got to it. He got a little bit of a charity hop there that yeah. just kind of came up. Brady Markowski, we're hoping that his son got in the eyes there in that one. I think that's what Abby was looking for, but no re no yard, uh, no return. That was actually but, a very nice uh, yeah. effort there, though, on the kick because it just jumped up. And, you know, if the green wave was there, it would have definitely been an easy, uh, easy get for the green wave there on that onside kick. So Whitman Hanson to 48. But Kevin, I don't know, but I think Botello is going to try to do something. I think he's going to try to get back to basics like he did before there with the seven with Casey running, Sean. Nice view of Nash. <laughs> Toss to the left Frazier. side, Frazier. Frazier. Frazier still on his feet, bouncing off people, gets up about five, six yards on the play. He's a tough running back. I, a lot of whistles on the far sideline. I don't know. Like, he's like, he was like five yards out of bounds, and he, I think it was Fuentes. Second down for the Panthers. Powers getting credit for the tackle here. The ball now to Greenway, 47-yard line. Pick up a five on the play. Do the math, makes it second and five. Women Hanson coming out again with that tight offense. Some people call it the Buffalo offense, double tight wing offense. Call it what you want. It's been pretty successful. Again, they go Frazier the left side. side. Gets around the corner. Flag, flag thrown, though, in the backfield, which is probably going to be a penalty looks against like, yeah, the yeah, Panthers. Flag, Panthers. Looks like Connor Pease. A little holding there on, on Pease. So the first down might be off or not. We'll see. Referee Goldman threw the flag. It's going that way. What? It's going to be against Abington. We'll see what the call is. 50 foot. Okay. <laughs> Holding on the defense. 10 yard penalty. What? Holding on the defense. On the defense? That's just ridiculous. So they move it down to the 31 now. A 10 yard penalty on the defense for hold. I. I Ten on one on the clock here. Women Hanson getting the benefit of that. 20, 20 yards behind the line of scrimmage. And they move it up to the 31. So good field position now for the Panthers with a fresh set of downs. <laughs> Burrows under center. Gives it a fullback right up the Nothing middle. Doing there. Now that was Nick Beauregard, Beauregard who had a big touchdown. Like Women Hanson every single play is pushing and shoving after the whistle. Bring up a second down and eight. Yep. Good job at Greenway D. You know, they've had some uh, success there the last couple with Frazier going off to that left side. Hunt with that hunt, sharp hunt with the tackle there for the Green Wave. Green Wave looking for a stop. Yeah, second down and eight. Again, the Panthers in the white jerseys come out tight. Beauregard, the lone fullback. They give it to the wing back coming on the right side now. A little toss, number 22, that is Guggins. Not, he's going to be short. Trevor Guggins, a senior tailback. Third down here. Yeah, at the 22. Third, he's got about a yard to go. For the, kind of expect the same formation to come out. He gave him that first down. I think Wakeland's just wrong. Well, it is, it is a first down. They're moving three, the stick. Yeah, short. <laughs> so it's a 22 now. <laughs> I lost track of Kevin, but I know that you they, know, they you're were, on top of it. The yard to gain was the, 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 to gain was the 21. It's, it's not even at the That's 21. That's what I thought. I don't know. I oh, know. yeah, because the penalty moved it to the 31. Yeah. I'm not sure how that just happened, but it's first and 10 at the 22 wow. right now. Women Hanson again. Oh, it's a, it's it's a, a, yeah, a little a reverse underneath. It's a Frazier underneath. That's a tricky play to kind of execute there yeah, with the two quick handoffs. Nice job. Gets a couple big boys they're doing it. They're kind of ripe Casey, for a fumble, huh? Casey kind of handling it back to Frazier going back the other way. Pick up about four. Second and six, according to Steve Wakeland there, the box man on the far side of the field. Uh, that could be a first down the way we're going today, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Burrows comes out under center once again. 
Beauregard, the fullback behind him. Got Frazier to his left. Gives to Frazier, coming right. Frazier gets over the line of scrimmage, stood up. It's Casey. Breaking. Oh, nice. Pummeled there, coming back. Who was that? Was that Patterson just tagged onto that? Powers coming out of the pile along with Izzy. Carey. Some nice hits in there as the senior. And they give him a. It doesn't matter where the ball is, it's the first time. <laughs> just inside the 12. Does get the first down, so it'll be first and ten inside the twelve. You can still get that first down, down around the two. Impressed with uh, Will Frazier, number seventeen, and Casey, number seven, both good hard running backs. Yeah, they are. They are tough to bring down. I mean, Casey's a big boy. Beauregard in the fullback. They give it to Casey, left side. Evan Casey looking for a hole. Stand up, trying to push it. They push the pile forward. And it gets inside the five, down to about the three or the two. It'll bring up second down as Whitman Hansen trying to use their big bodies there to get it, just keep moving it forward. It's down, marked at about the three yard line. Second down and one for the Panthers. So Green Wave, obviously you said, John, they only need about a, what a half a yard there it looks like for the first down. Yeah, it's like second and one at the three. And out come the Panthers once again. Burrows under center. Going to Casey up. Just he keeps it. Quarterback keeps, dives forward. He's going to get the first down, not the touchdown. So it'll be first and goal now. As we're down about the six and a half minute mark of the third quarter. It's right inside the one yard line right now. Sean Riley, Kevin Whalen bringing this Abden Green Wave football action along with help from Matt Lyons, Paul Watson, and Ryan Telly, and of course Matt Nelson and Kevin Tachi, the technical gurus that make it all happen. Come under 6.30 to go here in the third quarter. First and goal. Beauregard lined up behind the quarterback. He keep, I don't know if he, oh, got, I don't that. Know if he got that either. It does, they do not mark it as a touchdown. a touchdown. You can see when Burroughs came out under center, he had a foot behind him, like a like in a track starting position. You could almost tell he was going to do a quarterback sneak. Just do the same thing and try to push the pile. He's almost better if he stands up rather than kind of have the the big boys behind him push him, Sean. Yeah. I mean, they're at the inch line here. Abbott can only hope for a fumble here and a recovery by the Green Wave. Sorry, a couple of weeks ago there. Jinx, 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 jinx. Again, Barrows will come out with big fullback behind him. Lines up similarly for the. No, they toss it right side, and it's going to be a touchdown for Evan Casey from one yard out. So Rocco with a 52-yard drive. Puts another six on the board, and we'll see if they go for two or go for the kick. 5.37 to go here in the third. for the one. Try to make it a two-touchdown, 14-point lead. That's Casey's third touchdown of the game. He's a good player. Ball's down. Oh, blocked. kick is blocked. blocked. So the PAT is, is no good. Witness? Number 20, oh, Duggan. Number 20 for the Green Wave, get that? Nice job by Duggan coming in on the special teams and knocking that down. So it makes it 29-16, uh, a two touchdown lead here for. 13 point differential. Well, you know, you get the Green Wave offense, it seems to be firing really well on all cylinders here now, Sean, which is good for like the rest of this game, get another 17 minutes to play. So hopefully they were able to uh, you know, go down and score, make this a one touchdown game again. Might've been Wojo on the kick block there, was number 78, yeah. yeah. Good, nice job Wojo getting up in there, getting that heat up the big boy, number 78 for the Green Wave. So Women Hans with a kick to see if they go with the squib again, and they're trying to keep it away from Nash and Rickardson, who are standing down about their own six yard line. Kicker we anticipate will be Brendan Moore once again, the left-footed kicker. It seems a, seems a nice high ball. Yeah, good strong kick. Brendan Moore's point after attempt. I want to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. No matter what, when you're watching this game, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. It's a high kick going to AJ at the 10. Nash. Behind some green blockers. Nash brings it in the middle of the field. Nash still on his feet at the 35 and the 40. Nash across midfield. Nash break it away. Nash inside the 30. It's down. Man, Muskegon. AJ Nash takes it to the house. Woo, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Right back at you. 
AJ Nash just barrels down, barrels downfield through everyone. Right up the wedge there. Great blocking by the Green Wave. The pay dirt. And he's able just to outpace the Whitman Hanson ball players. A 90 yard touchdown kickoff return. I thought they were going to be able to get him right at about the 40. They get, went for an ankle tackle and he was able to get his, keep his legs free and just AJ scamper into the end zone. Wow, a couple of quick answers by the Green Wave here in the second half. This could be a five point game. Woo, they go for two. Great blocking by his teammates and the kick return team. Abington with a double threat back there with Rickinson and Nash, and A.J. Nash is making it happen. Beanway's going for two, uh, for one here. Mike Riley, the kicker. Dug in the hold. We wait the snap. Ball's down, kick is up. That looks good. It is good. Good. So 29-23 20, here. Ooh, got a bond burner. I didn't really expect this shot. I thought it would be a more low-scoring game. Me too. I think definitely the, uh, I would have picked the under. And right now, the green wave. What Listen. a great run by A.J. Nash, though, number 29. Here's the sideline view of Nash, just waiting for the blocks to develop. Gets about the 40-yard line and then just sees it in a burst of speed just starts going downfield and the white shirts are in his rear view mirror at this point aj nash 90 yards to pay dirt for the green wear green wave good block in there by the green wave and some great vision there by aj nash with some cuts and seeing the lane and going for it Whew. If I'm Green Wave, I kick up this away, Sean. You know, I think you know you're in we'll within the striking here. distance here. You don't want to give them a short field. I think you do too, Kev. I think you go deep. You see if there's a fumble or just pin them back. Your defense has, you know, been doing much better since the beginning of the game. Absolutely. I mean, they get notwithstanding you, that they just marched down the field, but but they they kind of got a little extra help there with a penalty. A big penalty, yeah, exactly. You gave them a short field with the onside kick. So my thing is, you try to make it a lo as long a field as possible. The two deep men are at the 20. Riley does line drive kick. It's going to bounce to the 22. Big hop, got, grabbed at the 19 yard line. And Nothing doing there. Nice coverage, three yeah, away. Tackle at the 30. Go, T. So with 5.15 to go. Will Frazier on the return for the Panthers. Whitman Hansen's offense will come back on the field at the 31 yard line. First and 10 Panthers on their own 31 yard line. And uh, Hanson's got to be a little nervous. I think we're going to see more of uh, Casey and Frazier, Sean. Yeah. It's, you know, going to seem like a little bit of a law firm team tag, team tagging here a little bit. Tag, tag teaming. teaming. Tag teaming. Easy for me to say. <laughs> tag teaming uh, Green Wave on the, on the ground. I think that's where they've had their success. And I think now that the game's tightened it up, you're going to see them do that. They give left side running to the right side. Nice yeah. tackling. Connor Pease in there helping out along with Trent Patterson. Only about pick up about two. Nice deep job by the Green Wave. Casey coming up a little gingerly there. He's really gave him a shot after Patterson had already given him one. Picks up two yards. Second down and eight. Beautiful sunny day here at Avenue oh, Memorial nice. Field. Ask for better weather in late November. Oh, people here in sweatshirts, which is great. They come up again with the same tight formation. Frazier on the near side wing. See if they give it to him this time. Now that Casey's a little dinged. It seemed to be. They hand off. Frazier, goes to right side Frazier. Frazier left side Frazier. Out, yeah. Frazier gets the first down. Nice bit of running there by Frazier. Well, he's just able to scoot outside. And once he gets past the line of scrimmage, he has some free room. The the Picks up the first down. It's going to be about the 44. 43. Women Hanson a big... Uh, win against Westwood during their last game. I want to point out, Sean, a home game, and we've got, you can look over at the uh, playground over there across the way. It's all That's operational right. now and open. Beautiful job. Nice job, Rip's really nice. Funded by Community Preservation Act, the uh, American Recovery Act, and private fundraising from residents in town. First and 10, Frazier left side, left side, uh, Connor P. gets him behind down. and just, just takes him down, lassoes him down. Like he's at a rodeo there, and Pease was not going to let him get more than one. Well, they've been really you know, taking that play to the back. They've been running that time and time again. And Fra uh, Connor Pease was able to really just get behind him there and just pull him backwards. Nice job by Pease setting that edge and holding on. There's a good view, another replay of Pease, number 87, who's been huge, especially the second half of the season with the Green Wave. And we got more of him next year. Second and nine, same tight formation by Burroughs and company. 
Burrow's going to come to the right side now. Number seven. Take him at the legs. Casey Take with the ball. The legs. Nice Gets job. Gets stood up at the 45. That's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Now you put him into a third and about eight situation. You know, they probably don't want to pass. That's not, this seems to be their strong suit. Yeah, bringing in three new guys, which are typically going to be the receivers. Ball at the 46. Third down, seven. So third and seven. I don't know how it's at the 46 when he didn't get past the 45, <laughs> but that's just, you know. Let's see if the Green Wave could get a nice interception here. Bring in LeBlanc on the right side there. Blank coming in for the coverage where it looks like it's going to be a pass play. We've been handsome with the wide outs to each side. Barrows in the shotgun with a running back behind him. Man in motion is Frazier looking to roll and throw. Big pressure though. Puts it up in the air. Oh, and a nice hit by LeBlanc. Nice job. Oh, and oh he, he's hurt. Yeah, he's he just hurt. took out Will Frazier. Oh, he's, yeah, what a pop. Oh, it might be his knee though. Yeah, I, know. I thought I that was just a, that. You don't want to see that. Oh, That's unfortunate. especially as a senior in Thanksgiving Day game. Big pressure in the backfield too. Made Burroughs have to unload that. No. And LeBlanc was just put in. And the way he threw that, like what happened was he, he kind of like, Jumped up and just tossed it like a, yeah. you know, And the problem is, it really, you really set your receiver up for that, John. Because what happens is, like, he's got to sit there and wait for that to come down, and really allowed him to, you know, will LeBlanc to line him up and really give him a good pop. So it makes it fourth and three here. That was a, a, a huge hit by LeBlanc, number six for the Green Wave. And uh, they get. Frazier off to the sideline where he'll be tended to by the Whitman Hanson medical staff there. But brings up a big fourth down play. Huge play by LeBlanc. Well, the other LeBlanc. thing is, too, a Frazier's a no-go, Sean. It really kind of, what it does is makes you focus on Casey now because that's really their yep. other, you know, they've become much more one-dimensional as far as their offense is concerned. So it's fourth and three at the 50-yard line. We'll see the interesting call here with 2.09 to go. Are they going to go for the first? Or go for the punt. They're lining up to go for it here. I think they're just going to try to give it to Casey or have Casey push. Shotgun formation. Fourth down. They get the hand up right up the middle. He doesn't get it. And he he's going to be stopped. The green stopped. wave. Green wave stops him. Nice job by the Abbott and Green Wave. No, he stopped him at the 48 yard line. Good job by Abington defense. Yeah, well, he's there. marked. It's definitely short. Yeah. Definitely short, yeah. They, just waiting for the official signal, but it looks pretty obvious to us. We're looking right down the line of scrimmage to see the replay. He's got to get over the actual line, and the ball is not over the line, over the 47-yard line. It is a first down for the Green Wave. Big defensive stand by Abington, who trailed by six. Now Abington now with an opportunity to tie this game up if they can march it to 52 yards oh, downfield, 53. Game. It is. Back and forth, it looked like 23 nothing. the Green Wave. Well, it was a few yards back when I think Green Wave was up like 28 nothing at half. Do you remember that? And Whitman Hanson came back. Yep. And won it. Well, well, it's just outside the 47 yards. I will we'll mark it with, the one, with 149 to go. Yeah. Having to take the snap, Rickardson. Looking for a hole. Nothing Not doing much there. doing there. Defense from Whitman Panthers now answer the bell there. Casey coming up and filling the hole. That boy yep. is just yeah, all over the ball field all day long. The big number seven for the Whitman Hanson Panthers. Very talented athlete for Whitman Hanson. Brings up second down and nine. They give him uh, about a yard gain over the 48 yard line. Well, we're coming down to just about a minute 30 to go here in the third quarter. Green wave down 29, 23. Zenas out wide to the far side. Ricketts in the right side end. Foley in the backfield. Looks like Nash. Oh, flag thrown Offside. on the near side. Offsides. Oh, it's going to be wow. a five yard penalty. Yep. Lined up. They're lined up encroachment. Number eight. Yeah, you don't have to touch the offense. You just have to line up in, you know, over the line of scrimmage. And it's an automatic five yard penalty. And that gives the group. Wow. Th these See the view here. Oh, just missed a little bit of it there from the sideline. Oh, camera guy's doing a great job. So brings up a, a gift there, so it yeah. makes it a second and about four here for the Greenway. Now in Panther territory. Nash lines up in the slot on the left side. 
Foley and Rickinson in the backfield. Riley gives to Rickinson, right side, big hit, big hole, I should say. He gets it first down with a green wave inside the 40 yard line, down to about the 38, 37 yard line. First and 10. Sean, I think this is where the green wave, their quickness, I mean, they don't have the size that Women Hansen right. has, but their quickness, they can now utilize that as they go into the fourth quarter. And that quick, just hitting those quick holes like that one right there. And Coach Patel is calling a timeout. They're trying to regroup right now and stop this Abington offense with 51 seconds to go in the third. Well, it seems like they've come to a little bit un there they're all concerned about like the spot on the on the as, as much as I was to yeah. on the spot on the first down and the first down you can see they're arguing with the officials and everything else out there so he's just trying to get them to calm down and focus on the game it's a green wave with 51 seconds to go in this first third quarter when you get a second you come up to the first floor but I do remember Ooh. that big comeback there by Whitman Hansen a few years back. So. We've had a couple of exciting games here yeah, for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Remember the overtime game? Yeah, that was 04 ish? I think it was 04. Yeah, 04 maybe? That was right here at Memorial Field. Yeah. That was a great one with Tim Wells, his yeah. freshman year of making some spectacular plays. So. Both teams talking with their coaches right now. Important offensive series here for the Green Waves. They trail by six, 29 to 23. 51 seconds on the clock here in the third quarter. Halftime, at, at halftime, it was 23 to eight, Women Hansen lead. And Women Hansen received the kickoff. So they, they had an opportunity to add to lead, but instead a first play fumble um, to, wrote, gave the ball right back to Abington. And then on the second play, Nash just Unbelievably break, broke away 43 yards for the touchdown. And then the Riley pass to Connor Pease for the two point conversion made it 23 16. Then Wibben Hansen answered back with a nice drive. Let's go back to the action here. Give it to the right side. Rickinson again. Rickinson over the right. Just dives forward, picks up a couple of yards. Casey put six points on the board, making it a 29 16 after the PAT, PAT kick was blocked. And it looked like momentum might be swimming back to Whitman Hanson, but on the ensuing kickoff, we saw A.J. Nash run a 90-yard kickoff return. And then the PAT by Riley Kick made it 29-23. Greenway down by six. That's where we stand right now. That eight-point touchdown, or that eight points they got in the first half was so important. Yeah. You know, it's so hard to come back and, you know, be down 23 to nothing, you know, in the second half. And getting that, like, being within a couple touchdown scores, making the game. Nash in motion, Foley up the middle, Foley with a hole, gets very close to the first. That might be the last play of the third quarter. Going to bring up a third and one maybe to start the fourth quarter. Yeah, and that clock rolls out. So he thinks, yeah, third and one, anyway, great position there to, uh, you know, get that first down exactly where they want to be. Ball nice be job. Out. You know, you got to be impressed though, Sean. They're down, you know, at one point there, 23 to nothing. Yeah. And it's to come back here, put eight on the board, and then kind of get a couple more scores. And now it looks like the driving could actually go ahead in this. Just a great game by the Green Wave. We're going to take a quick break for a public, ser a public service announcement from Abington Cam. Hi, I'm Matt Lyons, student intern here at Abington Cam, Abington's local cable station. Now, though our building is located in the high school, you don't have to be a student to get involved. Anyone in Abington who's looking to contribute to the local access programming is encouraged and welcome to help out. Tired of all the boring things on TV? Well, here's your chance to do better. Whether you want to learn the technical aspects of what goes into a production, want to learn how to edit professional looking videos, want a cup of our famous water, want to host your own interview so show. How do you? Get your hair like that, it looks fantastic. That's a great question, Matt. Want to host your own art show? Or your own sports show? Go along. Then Abington Cam is the place for you. So stop on by, we're here for you. Congratulations to Walter Pastor on 100. Yeah, they're just announcing it here at the game. What is his brother, 102? 100, or his brother is 101 right now. 101. Pastor, a very happy Good stock, I guess. Yeah. Good Lithuanian blood. Walter Pastor, the former coach, Hall of Fame member, turning 100 years old on December 12th. Trying to catch up to his brother, who's at 101. Green Wave got, just got the first down, so it's first and goal now at the 26 yard line. Rickinson in motion to go back underneath though. The counter play to Nash, Nash inside the 20. Another big run by AJ Nash. They don't have an answer for that. What the, jeez. AJ Nash <laughs> the carry for the Green Wave. 
<laughs> what the what the? <laughs> what are you seeing, Kev? I, that's, I, them, one of the guys just uh, pushed the guy in the head after Eddie. well after the play. You saw it. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I was, you watching, you I was watching behind the no, play. No, well after the play. Like, he just, just swacked, swacked his head. So the ball's mocked just outside about the 20, oh, sorry, the 17 yard line. Second and one now. Second and one. Foley right behind Riley. They give to Rickardson. Rickardson left side, puts a shoulder into it, and gets the first down down at the 15 yard line. I mean, that's the scene. You're really just driving straight ahead once he got hit there to get the contact. You're driving straight ahead to uh, get that first down. Look at Buckley, five yards downfield, throwing the blocks. So he's a tough guy. Wow. So first and 10 here for the Green Rave, right at what, the 16 yard line? Just outside the 15. Yeah, we'll call it the 15 with 10 and a half to go in the game. 29 to 23 the score. You can see with the incredible graphics provided by. They, they really have not Matt had Nelson. an answer to that counterplay all day long. And it's like, it seems like the wall is right there, and then boom, just cutting right back across that. They've been able to, Greenways has been so successful all game long. High backfield. Rich, Rickinson gets it on the right side. Rickinson, not much there at the 15 yard line. They'll bring up second down for Abington. Maybe half a yard or a yard. On the Look for the green wave to go back to that counter. You're bringing Nash back in, who's had some big success with that today. What a great game we've seen from that both teams here. Really some has been a wonderful game. Outstanding play from Casey and Frazier on, and Beauregard on the Panther side. But then Abington, we've seen A.J., Nash, and, of course, Rickardson, Patterson, Pease having a great game for Abington. Now second and a long nine now for Abington. Foley and Rickinson in the backfield. Riley calls to Caden, gives a Rickinson. It's a counter underneath. A little double handoff to Nash. Dives forward to about the 12. They picked up about three. Bring up third down. AJ Nash on the carry. Both teams using that little double handoff underneath. Yeah, and it's it's almost like I think you know it's sort of like the counter play set up like the yeah. counter. I trying to get the linebackers going the wrong way with the first handoff. We we're talking, and Nash has had a lot of success today. I think one of the reasons, too, is that, you know, you've got Rickardson in there. Yeah. Kind of now you've got to watch both guys. And, you know, Rickardson's obviously dynamic, but Nash in his own right is as well. Ball in the 12, third and seven. Rickardson's going to line up to the right of Foley. Looking to throw is Riley. Riley thrown across the middle. Ball got knocked down it looked like it got hit yeah, it as a cross he was looking for the big tight end now it's going to bring up a fourth down decision for Abington so clock stops at 841 so fourth and about what six or seven to go six give him a six for the green wave big decision here for Abington almost like you have to almost have to um, I think throw the ball here Sean you see what they do. That means they're gonna. That means they're gonna run. <laughs> AJ Nash lines up on the left side wing along with Pease and Rickardson. Riley in the shotgun puts Rickardson in motion. They fake the handoff. Riley looking to throw. He's oh, he's got, got a man open. Touchdown! touchdown! Unanimous touchdown! Say this with a touchdown. Going against the grain, a 12-yard touchdown pass from the sophomore to the senior. A lot of motion, heavy on the left side with Tripp left, and then Rickardson goes in motion right, and then they bring Zenas across to, from him right to left, kind of mixing up the Whitman Hanson defense. So 29-29, Green Wave has a tie ball game right now. Riley led him beautifully, and Zenas did a great job of finding the open spot going to the far side of the field. That was just a beautiful pass. So Zenas has a point after reception and now has a touchdown reception. So this is for the lead. Ball's down, kick is up. It's good. And it is good. Wow. Green wave coming back from 23 nothing. Up 30-29 now. Wow. This is another replay of the touchdown pass. Riley fading back, and you see Zenas cutting right across. Linebacker trying to chase him down, but Zenas 
Gets away from everyone, gets the separation that he needed, and made sure that that ball was going to be just squeezed against the red basket there and put six points up. And then the seven point kick, I'm sorry, the seventh point is the kick. Nice patience by Riley to have him have to run all the way across there to get open. Yeah. Nice job by Riley, waiting for him to be free and kind of on a one on one situation being wide open. So a big defensive stand at midfield by the Green Wave leads to that touchdown. And with, what do we got, 8.33 left on the clock. Abington to kick off with now a one-point lead. They, they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. What a game. It is back and forth. And this game is so many times, as these Thanksgiving games are, just this back and forth. A lot of emotion. Yep. Great competition. Riley, high. Endo Ren spinning kick down at the 24-yard line. Frazier. Up the middle, holding the ball kind of awkward then trips down at the 34-yard line. Well, it's good to see that he's back in the game, number seven. Yeah. Oh, the, that's a late, late flag. Is a flag? Oh, yeah, there is. There's a flag on the field. Ball was returned to the 33. Flag at the 29-yard line on Definitely the... Definitely be a dead ball foul. I don't know what it was. Looks like they're gonna move. Yeah, they're gonna move him back. Wow. And we've said it's been a pretty chippy game. Quinn and Hansen's not doing themselves any favors. Unsportsmanlike penalty against Women Hansen. That's like the second. And it was way back too. I mean, geez, it was after the play and Moves something. Him. He must have saw something happen. Moves him back to the 18. Wow. That's not what they needed. So now they start at the 18-yard line, 8.27 on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Abington up 30 to 29. And let's see if Whitman Hansen sticks. No, they're going to come out wide here. Interesting. Burrows in the shotgun. Man in motion as Guggen gets around the right side. Guggen trying to find some space. Nothing doing, though. Nice Good job. job. Good Pick up job only two. Nice job by the Green Wave containing that and then stretching it out the end for about a two-yard pickup. Foley, Rickardson, Patterson, Powers, Carey. Names you've all heard before, but they were all over there. Brings up second down. Pick up a four. They give him four, four so yards. Good job by uh, Googans. Yep. This is an important down here, just Sean, because it's like, you know, makes it whether it's a, if you get any yardage, it's still a running, possible running play. But if you don't, you know, it's definitely a passing situation. Casey and Kane are in the backfield standing next to the quarterback now. The handoff, Casey. Casey upended. Yeah, nice job at the line of scrimmage. Right. Good job by the Green Wave. Lucky to get back there. Powers, I think, got him low. Casey, took his legs out from under him. And, and that's then, exactly what you got to do. And as I said, Sean, now that makes it a third and about six here. A long six. And the Green Wave, exactly what you need to do, stop him. So now you put him in a passing situation. Carrying Pease with helping out in that tackle here, too. You know what? This Powers got him low and just took the legs right out from under him. Third down. Clock is running. Just coming in just about seven minutes to go in the ball game. Third and six. Again, Burrows with running backs to his left and right. Whoa, oh, ball's oh. on the ground, and it's going to be a fumble in the backfield back of the 16-yard line. Right in there to put the hands out and make sure he doesn't get back up, and that's huge play. So that's going to bring out a punt team now for the Green for the uh, Panthers. Fourth Green, and about 12 from their own 16. So the Green Wave is going to have great field position. The number one thing you want to do is make sure you have good ball security here. So a big penalty moves them back to the 18. Then that fumble in the in the backfield makes it a three and out for the Panthers as they trail by one with 6:30 and rolling here. They line up to punt. Abington receivers will line up at the Whitman Hanson 48 yard line. Again, Rickardson and Nash. Whitman Hanson punter standing inside the five yard line. Good snap. Kick gets away. Nice high booming kick. Rickinson goes back and gets it at the Abington 45, fakes the return. Rickinson's got to get around one man. And oh, a nice defensive that job. Was a great play. Holds him at the 45 yard line. That was Kane. Yeah. The, Bra Braden, Braden Kane, Kane number four. Yeah. Nice job. Great punt. I mean, he saved the, uh, the best punt of the day right there. Yep. But a 40 yarder. You can watch that on replay. 
as I thought Rick Rickinson was going to get the edge. Yeah, just needed that block. I had to get to Kane a little earlier to let him turn that corner. But Abington with the ball in 6.01 on the clock and with the one-point lead at their own 45-yard line. Well, like the position the Green Wave is in right now, Sean. Here come the Green Wave. Run Foley and Rickardson in the backfield. Rickardson gets it left side. Looking for the hole, nothing doing. It gets stood up. It's going to be a loss on the play. Loss of one. We have second down. What, what are they yelling about over there? Oh. I think they're just trying to get everybody excited. Second down and 11. Second, give them a loss of one on the play. <laughs> second and 11 here, the green wave, just 5.30 to go. You know, the clock starts ticking pretty quickly now, too, Sean, when you uh, don't have the ball and you're down yeah. in this ball game. So the green wave can just get a couple first downs. Rickinson in motion. They give to Nash Ooh. underneath, Up, but he's tackled. Yeah, offsides. there's a flag thrown. It's, it's going to be offsides. There's a flag on the field. A flag on the field. Motion. Motion. Nash okay? No, he's coming up a little ginger. Now they need to throw that. You know what? They need to throw that flag earlier, Sean. Yeah. It's like, if you're going to blow the whistle in the middle of the play. False start by the offense. By the offense. So second. So we're second and 16. But if, you, if you're going to throw that flag and, and interrupt the play, then you should throw it before. Oh, he's just cramping. Oh, he's just AJ cramping. Nash. But he, got a, he took a big hit there. He did. So it's going to be. Yeah, second and 16. This is not where the Green Wave likes to be. Let's see if they keep it on the ground or go to the air here with a second down. Riley looking into the sun as the quarterback. 5'10 and rolling here. Got big counter P's is going to come out. Mason the Nash, slot. the birthday boy, is the near side. I get slot left, slot right formation. They get four receivers out. They hand off to Izzy, though, underneath. Izzy trying to break free. He's only going to pick up, get about five. the original line of scrimmage. He picks up about five there. So it brings up a third down. Clock is running. That's the kind of play where they're hoping that Izzy can break free and with a spread formation. Gave him a six-yard pickup. You know, Sean, I think, and that's one of the things that Green Wave wanted to do. You didn't want to pass in that situation yeah. because you want to keep the clock going. You yep. know, now you're coming under 430 to go here in the ball game. You know, I, I think even here, like, you know, you probably still would even pass. If you, if you run the ball in this situation, then, you know, you kind of take another 30, 40 seconds off the clock, which right. is what you want to do and punt it. That's yeah. the safe way. See what the green wave does. Rickinson lines up to the left of Riley in the backfield in the shotgun. Riley hands off to Rickinson, just like you said, Kev, up the middle, and he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. Now, they'll probably use a timeout. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I'd be shocked if they didn't. They have not called. We're look, looking for Whitman Hans to call timeout. Now they, they do. do. Wow. I don't timeout. Know. They let it a couple of seconds go down. And they stop the clock at 3:57. If I was them, I would wait. I would have done that right away. I mean, four or five yeah. seconds could be a difference. So just under four minutes to go here in the ball game. Fourth down for the Green Wave. Ball at the 47-yard line. Fourth and eight. Kevin, on this Thanksgiving Day game, I just want to say thanks to you. Thanks to your wife for letting you do this. And, uh, you know, you always make it fun for all of us here at Abington Cam when you put the microphone on. Fans at home love your comedic relief. Well, Sean, I enjoyed, you know, doing this with you as well. And, you know, the boys and Kevin Tachi and Matt Nelson and Matt Lyons upstairs. It's always a... It's always enjoyable to do, do it for the kids and appreciate the product that the Green Wave puts out there every year. And I know that, uh, you know, you do a lot more than just this. You do all the baseball and basketball and so many other sports for uh, all the kids here in Abington. And everyone appreciates that. And I know your wife appreciates that you're out of the house. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. There's the Abington band up there getting the crowd going here. We want to thank all the kids in the band and, the, uh, and Charlie. Leading the band, we go back to the action here. Fourth down, Powers to punt. One man back Step for Women Hanson. Yeah, wind just kicked up. Powers gets it. Oh, a nice high, booming kick. Puts Kane all the way back to the 13-yard line. Kane trying to get around the Lock right side. Off. Kane trying to turn the corner. Not much there, then Good taken flag. down. Block in the back. It's going to be a block in the back there. Wow, what a punt by Powers. Uh -oh. Another flag oh, thrown up these here. Guys are just a huge flag. Like there's going to be a 15-yarder and 
Yeah. They block in the back, so they're not. They're going to start themselves way back, probably about the ten yard line. Aiden Powers is clapping because whatever he got in somebody's head, and they threw a flag there. You can see now the return. Yeah, Whitman Hanson's just become a little yeah, bit. Zenith got blocked in the back. back. Yeah. And there was one on that other side too. So we'll wait for referee Golden to sort that out. Looks like both are going to be on Whitman Hanson. So they got the ball at the. Looks like about about the 23, but it looks like they're probably going to end up back around the eight yard line. So, Whitman Hanson hurting themselves here, getting themselves farther and farther away from the end zone. It was definitely a. There was a block in the back there. It was almost like a, a, a tough position for the Whitman Hanson player. They're doing the math down there, trying to figure it out. Needed the abacus. The 20 gets down to the 18. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to mark it off again. What, half the distance, anyhow? Or yeah. are they. All right, we have both a live ball and a dead yep. ball oh. foul. So the live ball foul. Hansen. Wow. First, you have an illegal block to the back. Live ball foul. That'll be 10 yard penalty. And then we have a dead ball, unsportsmanlike foul there, which will be half the distance to the goal. First step. That's unbelievable. I mean, Ruben Hansen is really kind of been pretty undisciplined with their unsportsmanlike penalties. Which is out of character for Whitman Hansen, you know, but today they have been really shooting First themselves in the foot. That's their third, I believe, on sportsmanlike penalty. And I, th and I think they've given them the benefit of the doubt pretty yeah. early on. So but Yeah, early on in the game, they kind of just warning, 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 and then they just started losing their composure. So, First so and ten. Burrows in a shotgun, standing about his own four-yard line, looking to throw. Burrows to the right side, got a man open, gets that first down, nice pass to Brendan Moore, and to move the stakes of the 21-yard line. Well, that's a little too easy if you're the green wave yeah. there, Sean. Oh, no, you get a little tighter was. coverage. Yeah. You know, you want to keep it in front of you, but at the same time, so 3.38 to go here in the ball game. Yeah, the strength is not the passing game from Burrows right now. He, they have a pretty good, well-orchestrated, well-oiled off, uh, running offense, but... If they move it be, up to the 22. If they're going to be passing like that, I'd like to see them dial up some blitzes, you know, bringing in some, you know, some of the linebackers here. They spread it out once again. One man in the backfield behind Burrows. It looks like it's Casey looking to throw once again. Burrows gets big pressure, throws it away, connects about three yards downfield it's gonna be, to be Guggen. Got out of bounds, so it's only about a three-yard pickup, but it's out of bounds. Stops the clock with 3.30 to go. Wow, Burrows didn't have much more time to go. He had three or four jerseys chasing him down. Three and a half minutes on the clock, ball but, at know, the 25. The other time, the other thing too, Sean, is they wasted that time out on the 51 yard, uh, yeah. 51 seconds left in the third quarter just to kind of try to settle the team down. Yeah. And you know, that really could come back to bite them uh, later here in the game. Because they've now, what's that, two, they've already called two timeouts. They have one left. So second and seven at the 25-yard line. Burrows getting an audible from the sideline. Burrows with the, no, he's going to throw. Roll into the near side. He's got some real estate. Burrows trying to come up, and he's going to step out of bounds. See where they mock him out. He's going to be close. A yard. It gave, it looks like yeah, he got the first down, down the run out of at the 33. Daly was Wait, he's, mocking, he's saying 32. The stakes are on the 32. Right. You're going to have to measure that. Do we, what are you, oh. yeah, too late. No, no. They got the ball before the 32. I know. This is like the third time, Kevin. I know. What, I know. what is going on? I'm like, giving hey, up, Sean. Close I, enough. I, I, I kid for a few times there. You I had to like, get it over the 32 for a first. I know, and it was before what? the 32. That's But they've done that pretty consistently all day. Nuts and bolts. I know. Ball's on the 32, first and 10. 321 to go. Well, Green Wave's got to keep him in bounds, and that's where the, the pressure really kicks on Whitman Hansen. Moore lines up on the near side out wide. They got a receiver out to the far side. Guggen in motion, gets the ball. Guggen's, Guggen's looking for some real estate, cuts it back inside, but Patterson's there Patterson, now to take him down. What a job by Patterson. Nice job by Foley also helping out to make him cut, commit back inside. Good team effort. Second down. How did he put that at the, <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> he did Ooh, not at the get 30, at the 36. He did, not get past, he did not get past the 35. Shotgun. Looking to throw. Big pressure. 
That's Powers with the pressure, stepping up and then stepping out of bounds. It'll be short of the first at about the 40-yard line. What? Oh, and a flag thrown. Uh-oh. This could be against Abington. Uh, Abington can't be doing that. They don't want to help give him the yardage That was yet. not much. I think they're just, like, trying to calm people down. Yeah. Ten yards, 15-yard penalties at a time, though. So It wasn't well, after the play, though. He, he stepped out at the 40. You can see his replay of the quarterback rolling now, stepping out and gets out of bounds just just at the 40 before the 40. Oh my goodness! I, the re- That's ridiculous. It was a horrible play. That was a horrible. They said dead ball. He had just stepped out of bounds and there was a block on the field with both players really not seeing the quarterback had literally stepped out about the same time. That's I don't know. Someone have a makeup call, but the ball now at the 45 of Abington with 2:47 to go. Controversy a brewing here I in the late minutes. I know. 2.47 to go here in the ballgame. They come out back with Green that tight up, formation. 29. Casey, deep man. Now they give it to Guggens on the right side. Guggens steps up, spins, dives forward, gets about eight or so. Bring up second down. Guggens now the senior running back. For the Panthers. Well, the other thing, too, is they're only down by a, a point here, so they could get close enough to try a field goal yeah. as well. So Second and three. Green Wave's got to stop them. Casey, the near side wing. They come in, running right at you. They bump him outside. Frazier trying Jesus, to get around the side. Yes. Throw the flag. Frazier turns the corner, and he's going to be pushed out about the 22-yard line. And everybody up here in the bleachers saw the holding penalty. And I think all the coaches, and then finally the official. But <laughs> <laughs> Yep, it is. He's saying hold. And right that's here. back, too. So it's from the, it's a spot foul. Here's the replay now. Yeah. It looked like, was it Duggan or uh, 26 Foley that got held? Yeah. He had, having the cornerback trying to move up, and he just got spun around and held, and they mocked him back now to midfield. So that's a spot foul, so it's a, actually, you know, so it's actually like a 12-yard penalty. Yeah. So just 2.10 to go. Second and 15. You know, when you take time off the clock as right, well. Right, right. Second and 15. Burrows under center. I think they're going to go back to Casey here, Sean, on the right hand. They do. Casey trying to run around the right side. Casey with uh, the uh -oh. block back in front uh -oh. of him. Casey turns the uh -oh. corner. Casey going down the sideline. He's, He's breaking free. And no flags on the field. It's going to be a 50-yard touchdown run with 158 left to go. Well, have plenty of time. <laughs> Unbelievable. Back and forth we go. And there's a 15-yard penalty here, though. After the play? After the play. I think it's against Whitman Hanson. Somebody took the helmet off. Jeez. Unbelievable game here. Back and forth. Referees are hashing this one out, so it's going to be it's going to be a 35 to 30 lead by Whitman Hanson with the PAT to come. Gosh, these guys don't get paid enough. You see the replay of the run as he turned the corner, and hey, Casey. We're touched out. Down the side. Dead ball. A sports foul. foul. Whitman Hanson to the Abington elected to be enforced on the kickoff. Okay, so Abington is going to elect to take the penalty yardage against Whitman Hanson on the so kickoff. So they have to go for two here. This is an important play because they have to go for two yep. to make it seven points. The game that wouldn't end, Sean. My gosh, back and forth. 12 28. So Abington obviously would like to prevent this point after conversion. And then instead of cooking, kicking from the 40, Whitman Hanson will be kicking from, I believe, the 25. I think which would hopefully I leave us in great field position. I he's complaining about, but the player took his helmet off, which you can't do college or high. I mean, that's an automatic. It's already been thrown. They, they yeah. don't have any reviews in New York for this. I know, but they, you know, but that's something that's an automatic in high school and college. You yeah. can't do that on the field at all. 
it's kind of like a taunting type of penalty that they use. It just can't be showing up. The they other do team. it on the last play of the game. <laughs> if the clock runs out. So the Green Wave, will, that means that Whitman Hans will be kicking off from their 25. And congratulations to the cheer squad for two first You know, I'm, I'm really happy how the Green Wave has acquitted themselves today, Sean. They've yeah. played really well. They've played a really tough game here. And I think you have two minutes to go here in the ball game. Putting yourself in a position to win. So they're looking, it's a long game. All right, here we go with the point after conversion. It's a five point game right now. And again, they line up tight. Forward got the don't fullback. Have, they don't have Casey in the ball game here. I didn't even see the ball. Let's go either. to the right side. It's a scrum on the right side. Did nope, not no, get the conversion. Wow. That's huge. Green wave defense stopped the run. Wow. Wow. I, I find that kind of interesting that you wouldn't put your the big guy in there, number seven in the backfield. Yeah. I mean, he's just been destroying people today. Had a great game. But now it's like obviously the green wave will get the ball back. Green wave actually has all three timeouts. So they're going to be kicking off on the 25 yard line. Holy cow. Ooh, baby. Back, Back and, and forth, forth we go. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Mm. You know, I thought that, you know, this would be a quick game today, Sean. <laughs> yeah, this it's is nothing but unbelievable. It's like two, two, you know, two and a half hour game already. It's just almost unprecedented in high school football. So, uh, teeing it up here, though, for a kickoff return for a touchdown by Isaiah Rickardson and or, or I guess or, A.J. Nash. Well, let's see it happen here. Now, Rickardson and Nash are standing at their own 20-yard line. Referee Goldman must have a, uh, a late dinner. Let's do like a three o'clock or something. Brendan Moore, strong leg, good kicker. We'll see if he goes, kicks it high or line drive. It's a squib kick, gonna go down. Nice grab at the 40-yard line. Turns it up field at the 45. Salamine. Number Good. eight, number eight, Salamini. We've seen him do this several yes. times. North the south runner, freshman, just doing what he's supposed to do. Ryan, Great field Salamini position here. Minute 53 return. to go in the ball game. At, at the Whitman Hanson 45, you could not ask for any better. You know, it's interesting that they they try to keep the ball away from Nash and, and Rickardson. You know, and but you gave them great field position by doing that. Yep. Yeah. You know, I in that instance, I think I would have kicked it away, Sean, especially coming from the 25. Although the one thing that happens when you do have that field is like it leaves like a lot of lanes open just by by moving it back 15 yards. Connor Pease out wide to the far side. Frazier on him, single coverage. Riley in the shotgun. Puts Rickardson in motion. They give to Rickardson. Rickardson. Riley. No, Riley keeps it. Riley up over the 40 gets about an eight or nine yard pickup. Wow. He had us all going the wrong way there. Yeah. So I saw second that and two. Like nice, nice read by Riley. That's an option read that Riley has. Is that that opens up on the right side? He can just you know tuck the ball and run. Having him right up on the ball. Minute and thirty to go. They trail by five. Rickinson in motion. Crown of play. Oh, he's going to be hit in the backfield by a big number fifty, Maddox Colclaw. Yeah. That was he broke through from the far side, was able to get the Nash. So a loss on the play, making it a third and six. Wow, that was a big loss. But so was Green Wave's calling timeout. Okay, Abedin calls timeout on the field. Ooh, baby. I know it, back and forth and 116 to go in the ball game. That's I think Abington has to open it up a little bit here, Sean. That's a tough break right there with the, with the second and two situation. We've talked about all year, Sean, the negative plays have been the thing that they have to stay away from, and that was a big one right there in that situation. 124 put on the clock. Unbelievable. What a game we've had. Both, all these guys playing their last game of the season, some of them the last game of their high school career, and putting it all out there on the field for the Panthers and the Green Wave. Uh, you know, you got to give both teams credit. It's been a wonderful, entertaining game. You couldn't ask for anything more from this high school uh, football game today. And get ready for Green Wave basketball and Green Wave hockey coming up in the winter sports season. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very strong hockey team and some very exciting boys and girls basketball team. Good shot of the Abner Green Wave cheerleaders and some of the crowd behind him. Good to see a lot of the familiar faces in the crowd. 
always nice when the weather's this nice for the fans, too. I know. Well, the good news is that we won't have a tie, Sean, one way or another here. You know, the Green Wave will be the score or right. win and get the six points or not. Ball at the 42, third and six. Foley in the backfield. In motion goes Nash. Riley rolling to his left. Little throw. He's got big pressure. He's got to unload it. It's going to fall incomplete. Riley didn't have any time really to set up on that one. They were flooding the zone on the far side with the receivers. Yeah, Riley didn't have any, um, really any option there. That number 59 will look like. That's Colin Murphy. Nice play there the by Murphy. Play. Coming off the edge for Whitman Hansen, Coming in and making the tackle. Putting pressure on Riley. All right, fourth and seven. Hooking Abbott, lateral, Sean. Abbott needs to get inside the 35 to keep this drive alive with 119 to go. Riley to throw. Riley stepping, got time. moving, looking, throwing. Connects to Pease, but he's going to be short of the first. It'll be yeah. a turnover and downs on the 40. Wow. Riley, Great Riley, effort by the Green Wave. To number 87, Connor Tough Pease break there. Down short of the first down. And it'll be a turnover, so Whitman Hansen can really just kneel it down with 113 to go. First and 10, Panthers. Uh, hard fought game by the Green Wave. Gave it everything you got. And it's been a great season. I appreciate everything that the seniors have done for this team. And greatly looking forward to the next couple of years. You, got, you know, once again, the seniors are Izzy Ricketson and Darren Zenas, who had the touchdown in the PAT today, Jack Houghton, Lucas Foley, Diego Fleitas, Mark Elder, Jeff Buckley, Trent Patterson, Aiden Powers, and number 81, Jack Carey. And for Whitman Hanson, I might as well send a shout out to their seniors for those of you who are watching. Matt Phelps, Braden Kane, Evan Casey, Patrick Dolan, Ben Pace, Cam Burrows, Will Frazier, Trevin Guggins, Brendan White, Sam Pace, Rocco Hanafi will wait for this play. They run to the right side. That's Casey. Almost gets a first down, may have got the first down. Yeah. The remaining seniors are Nick Beauregard, Brandon Berg, Maddox Colclock, Connor Sodic, Colin Murphy, Roman Zamretta. And Noah Hopkins. I'm surprised they don't take a knee. I would think they will here. Oh, this is timeout Abington. Burning their last timeout, making it's a second and one here. Making Whitman run at least two more plays. See what happens. Who, baby? I mean, this turned out to be a bond bird, Kevin. I know. I was like, you know, when it was 23 nothing, I was like, uh oh, you know, and uh, it's just one of those things where we're able to come back and scratch their way back and kind of get, take the lead there. So, got to give them credit for that. You know, it's been a long season for these guys. They've done a great job. It's been a learning experience for a lot of them too. A lot of growth with some of the younger kids, and uh, you know, really looking forward to the next couple of years here at Green Wave football. A couple of big plays by the Green Wave. Izzy Rickinson had a pretty big game, and Nash also a very strong game, especially with that 90-yard kickoff return. It's great to see Izzy Rickinson finish the way he did. Yeah, you know, and uh, just you know, everything that we expected out of him all year, he kind of put out there on the field today. I want to thank all of the uh, members of Green Wave Nation who support Avenue Green Wave football and all the Green Wave sports. Those here at some of the games, those who are watching at home. Shout out to my friends up in Vermont that are watching the game right now. I appreciate it. And all over the East Coast and across. Buddy Fallon out in the, on California. Michael Noon from Holy Cross is watching football all day long while his wife works and cooks for him. I don't, so it says... Time out. It says second down and short. Yeah. And then they made it a first down. It's now second and 11. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. You're right. Yeah. We'll have to ask Wakeland about that one later. Yeah. But hey, we'll see. Like Kathy. There'll be a, there will be a trophy presentation where Abington will have to uh, fork the trophy over to the Whitman Hanson Panthers, who will maintain possession for another year. We'll be playing at Whitman Hanson next year. We got a lot of very, very talented young players coming up. We've seen a lot of them. Oh, been... I thought you were going to say how the unfaithful are leaving, Sean. They don't have any faith. <laughs> no. LeBlanc is a junior, right? Yeah. Michael Riley's a sophomore. 
Uh, Nate Duggan is a junior. Aiden McClellan is a junior. Simonetti is a junior. Nash, AJ Nash is a junior. Kingston Mash, Maxwell, a freshman. Um, just going down some. Kyle, uh, Kyle Kane, we saw some of him earlier as a junior. Mason Nash, saw a lot of him. Happy birthday, Mason. He's a freshman. Salami is another freshman. Yeah. So. I mean, Connor O'Donnell, a junior. Jonathan Sharp, hot as a so uh, sophomore. Well, the freshman had a very successful year this year as well. Isaac Oliveira, a big man for them. Yep. He's a freshman. Hayden Kroll, Ryan LaRosa, Andrew Van Luling. Num these names you're going to hear all next year. And Bodie Johnson and Steve Wojcikowski, they're both juniors. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, Connor Pease is a junior. Just going down the whole roster, you're like, wow, we've got a lot of Talented big men kids come coming back. And look at the, the, that eighth grade and freshman class coming up. Eighth grade essentially is the midget team that just won the Super Bowl. So we've got a lot to look forward to, but we also have a lot to be thankful for here in the 2022 Thanksgiving Day game as the teams now go to midfield for the uh, traditional handshake and congratulations. Final score will be 35-30 here at Memorial Field, and every point was an exciting point during this game, Kevin. Well, I'd like to thank Kevin Tachi, Matt Nelson, and Matt Lyons again for all the work they've done this year, but especially thanks to the uh, Abington High School football players and the coaches. I appreciate all that they do, you know, all through the year to make sure these kids are ready to put out a good product, and, you know, the, the kids' effort is not uh, go, does not go unnoticed. Certainly true. This is not, you know, these guys work throughout the year. Uh, to put this all together, they work out in the fitness center up at Abbott High School. The coaches, as you know, it's it's not just a part-time job, of, you know, three hours a day. And uh, even our chain gang does a great job over there on the far side of the field. They hear every single home game, and they're the best around. Now they're doing their work release, uh, you know, work release, <laughs> work release uh, hours. So tough loss for the Green Wave, but an exciting game for both teams. Had the opportunities, created some opportunities, and made some huge plays. Just to recap the scoring real quickly, Women Hanson started off in the uh, first half with a 25-yard run, making it 8-0 after the Hopkins. Uh, Casey with the touchdown, Hopkins with the rush PAT. Then Casey struck again from 14 yards out, and Cole passed it to Dolan, making it a 16 0 game. And then the, the third time was a handoff right up the middle to the fullback, Nick Beauregard, 62 yards, broke away, and then a, and the Moore PAT kick made it 23 0. Green Wave, though, to their credit, bounced back with a 10 yard easy Rickardson touchdown. And uh, Riley then tossed a backwards pass to A.J. Nash, who threw it into the end zone to Darren Zenas for the two point conversion, making it 23 to 8. That's where it ended at the half. Green Wave kicked off to Whitman Hansen to start the second half. On the first play, it was a fumble, which the Green Wave recovered at their own 47-yard line. Two plays later, Nash ran 43 yards to pay dirt, and Riley threw a, a PAT pass to Connor Pease, making it 23-16. to Casey then came back in the next possession, capping off a 52-yard drive with a one-yard dive, making it 29 to 16 after the PAT was blocked. And then on the ensuing kickoff, AJ Nash with an exciting 90-yard kickoff return, and a it, um, Michael Riley PAT kick made it a 29-23 game, Abington trailing by six. And then the Green Wave with a big stop on a fourth-down conversion in midfield. Um, drove it downfield, had a 12-yard touchdown pass from Riley to Darren Zenas. The Riley PAT kick was good, and the Green Wave took the lead, 30-29 to with 8.33 to go. You know, Sean, you realize that we can't uh, go home if you don't stop talking. <laughs> I'm just we're taping the <laughs> know, trophy presentation. And then the final uh, coup de grace was the 50-yard Evan Casey run with 1.58 to go. The PAT was stopped. That's how it ended, 35 to nothing. Tough break for Jim Kelleher and his and his crew. Jim Kelleher with, I believe it's 319, uh, sorry, 519 games coached, brings him into the number three position as most games coached by a Massachusetts High School uh, football coach. So congratulations to Coach Kelleher. I'm looking forward to next season. It's going to be a great season for the Green Wave, and I'm also looking forward to the basketball and hockey season where we're going to see some of these very same athletes out on the basketball court and on the hockey rink and some new names and faces that you haven't seen yet. Absolutely looking forward to uh, next season and, the, you know, the different sports as the, the seasons change and 
looking to see what the Green Wave athletes do on the uh, on the field and on the courts. Looking forward to to all the different uh, teams. And you know, congratulations to Coach Kelleher, as you said. It's just uh, amazing as he's entering his 50th year next year, which is a, a huge milestone. It is. So again, want to thank Matt Lyons, Paul Watson, Ryan Tully on the cameras, Matt Nelson, Kevin Tachi, the technical gurus. Want to thank, of course, Kevin Whalen, Chris Nagel up here, Bo Ryan up here in the press box. Want to thank our fans all across the country, especially up there in Vermont and even in Holden, Massachusetts. Thanks for tuning in to Abbott and Green Wave Football. The final score once again, the 2022 Thanksgiving Day game. The Women and some Panthers 35, the Green Wave 30. Enjoy your turkey, everyone. We will see you next year for more Green Wave Football. You know what's